Yo, yo, yo. What is good, everybody, man? We are uh, back from a, a little bit of a hiatus, but you know, we're still rocking. We're still rocking. we back with another episode of No Snooze. No Snooze. That mm-hmm. uh, is the best damn morning show in the world. Uh, I am your host, Dezo the Introvert. I'm here to get y'all caught up with everything going on in the culture. That's movies, music, a little bit of sports. Um, I'm joined by Big Ox, man. Talk to him. What's good? What's good? Happy to have y'all here this beautiful, beautiful Friday morning. I mean, y'all know what time it is. When y'all hear this, you know that means get off your ass and on your feet, man. We here. Yes, sir. Uh, we here. That's all. Like you said, it's been a brief hiatus. We was going for like a week, man. What's good, man? How you feeling? I'm straight, man. I'm straight, you know. I'm uh I'm in a different location, different, different environment. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I had to get had to get uncomfortable, you know what I'm saying? I was getting a little too oh, comfortable. Yeah. So yeah, that's I, I, that's how that that's how, that's how they say, man. You know, that comfortability, man. It's, it's yeah, that comfortability. Yeah. It, it, it can get detrimental. You know what I mean? So facts, facts. We got we got to we got to embrace that adversity to grow. You know what I mean? So, right. And you know that's that's the quote of the day, man. That's the quote of the day. Embrace <laughs> that adversity so you can grow. You know right. what I mean? Hey, man. Um, you know? Quotes can come um, from anywhere. They can come from anywhere. What's on your mind, man? What's on your mind? There's, I don't even know where to start, bro. <laughs> you know what? You motherfuckers want to know the weather? Get your ass up and go outside. <laughs> okay. okay, we got some pressing shit to get to today. Yeah, we got a lot of we got a lot of stuff to get to. You want to know what the gas prices are? Get your ass in the load. Drive to the gas station. And, and ask him. That okay. Is wild. Okay. We don't got no time for no damn, damn gas prices. I don't give a damn with the weather. Like I said, if you want to know the weather, get your ass up, go outside, and do like this. Right. You do this. Yeah, you just, you just, can see. It. Look, you can, look. You know what I'm saying? Look towards the sky. You can see if it's if it's sunny, if it's cloudy, if it's raining, you'll get wet. Okay. <laughs> if it's raining, you'll go outside and get wet. We got some pressing shit to get to. Yeah, let's man. get to it. <laughs> let's get to it. Though. All right, like, hey, you know, like like I said, man, it's it's a, a lot of crazy stuff that happened over over the last several days, man. Um, the the world is in disarray right now. Uh, yeah. This 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 whole well, but all right, but but what we what we do? We'll go we'll go in reverse though. So we'll go okay. cr- we'll go current events first. Okay, go ahead. Go so ahead. we'll go current events and then we'll get to, to all the cultural things going on. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's just read a couple articles real quick. Warm up. Let the people get in here. Let text get here. And then we'll get right. into some other things. Yeah, I, I'm really interested to see what text te- has to say. Yeah. Um, let's just get straight to some uh, some some things. Uh, you know what? I'm, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to read it off my phone so I can keep this up. Uh, Give me a second, y'all. In the meantime, though, like, comment, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, you know what I'm saying? Share the video, you know, um, all that, man, all that. Oh, yeah. Um, so, recently, um, parents of a school shooter were sentenced to 10 to 15 years in prison. Mm. Um. You know, here's what happened. Um, this is what this article is about. Uh, this article is about Jennifer and James Crumbly, the parents of, of Michigan, Michigan school shooter Ethan Crumbly, were sentenced to 10 to 15 years in prison. Uh, the Crumblies were found guilty of involuntary manslaughter in separate trials earlier this year, but they were sentenced together. Um, Family members of the four students that were killed in the 2021 school uh, shooting addressed the Crumblies during the sentencing hearing with one father telling the couple, the blood of our children is on your hand. Um, Their cases stand as a test of the limits of who's responsible for a school shooting. This is the first time a parent of a school shooter has been held directly responsible for the killings of other students. Wow. Um, yeah, um, I wasn't expecting 
Yeah, see, this is what I was this is what I was uh wondering when I was reading the article. Like, is this gonna set a new wave of like if this event like because these events are gonna happen again? So right. will will this set a new precedent to always hold the parents accountable? Because I'm I'm kind of with that. Kind of with that. Ah, uh, it depends. So it depends. It depends. Because if you if you raising if you out here raising you know school shooters, you should you should I ain't gonna lie, you should have some responsibility for that, you know. Like just and I understand like some people aren't always in control of what the actions of their child, but you can set a better example, you know. Like you can set I don't know, try to teach them right from wrong, uh, things like that, man. I don't, I don't think that, uh, I don't think a child just goes out there in the world and automatically thinks, you know what, I'm having a rough time at school. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a kill my classmates. You know, I don't think that's, I don't think that's something that, that happens for real. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Man, I I don't know, man. It just depends. Like, if you if you know if you if you have knowledge that your kid is a danger to society, mm-hmm. um, yeah. Like, remember remember uh, a while ago we we did we did an episode where there was the kid in Louisiana who escaped, and his, his mom called like, "Yo, you know, come get him." Right. Yeah. Uh, she was. She was. She said she was in fear that something would happen to him, uh, like the police might do something to him. Or she was. She was in fear. And, and you know, the the young man was was he he had shown his own signs of being a danger to society. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, so if if for me, if if the prosecution, uh, if the prosecution, the district, the, the district attorney, whoever, if they can prove that parents are knowledgeable of their kids' intentions. Or um, they had any any cause to think that their kid was going to cause that type of harm and, and scoot up a sh- shoot up a school, um, then by all means, yeah, I think I think there should be some type of accountability. Um, but man, like I, I I don't like for instance my 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 kids they 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 seem you know happy good kids I haven't you know they don't even. Uh, my kids haven't even really been in, in fights at school, you know, yet. Like, they're, they're, I mean, but they're still really young, though, you know what I'm saying? So, like, they're still not even at that type of age. But what I'm saying is, like, let's say when they do get, like, 14, 15, 16, and they're still this, this like, mild-mannered, you know what I mean? I would never expect something like this. And so if they did do something like that and I got sent this for it, ah, what? <laughs> no, <laughs> no fucking way. Like, what? <laughs> you know? But Yeah, that, that's true. If I, but if I, if I did, you know, if I did catch my kids outside torturing animals, you know, setting cats on fire, and mm. you know what I'm saying, in their room, talking, I'm gonna fucking kill them, you know, mm. and I didn't like seek help, you know, try to get them some counseling, check their backpacks and make sure there wasn't pistols in their gun, their backpacks and right. stuff like that, you know what I mean? And I, and let's say like I found a manif- manifesto of things that they wanted to do to other people or, or a hit list and shit like that. Then, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I could see me getting held accountable, but I just don't know. And um, right here in the um, in the court article here too, let me read this part because this is I think this is important to uh, to say that um, um, the lead like well, so the lead prosecution uh, uh, she said that they said she was disappointed that the parents didn't express remorse. You know, like the parents weren't like remorseful about the loss of uh, the lives of these other other kids. But right, um, they also said that there's a dip. See, when I saw this, I thought too, like, okay, this is gonna set a new precedent. Like now, mm-hmm. anytime this happens, boom, we got it. We got to charge the uh, parents too. But it, it says she says here that there's a difference between precedent setting and and rare, and this is a really rare set of facts. Mm-hmm. So so she's saying that in this in this case, it's it's something else, you know. So okay. So that I, I mean, mean that's, that's that. the uh I do I do see the point where it's like 
yeah sometimes sometimes as a parent you just you just don't you're not prepared for for that kind of uh you're not prepared for for something like that to happen you know you you just don't see it coming like your your kid could be mild mannered like you said um but yeah i i don't know like maybe maybe not a 10 to 15 year sentence like these uh two parents got yeah but but maybe you know i don't know maybe like a three to four three to five year sentence right well uh, um or maybe like maybe just like a year of counseling year of like parent counseling you know what i'm saying like I mean, well, That's shit, what they need parent counseling for? They, they, they their kid is cooked. Like, <laughs> their kid is cooked, but if, you, if they if they choose to have another kid, like, like you shouldn't you shouldn't be out here just like not knowing how to parent no more. You know, like you should, yeah. Um, yeah. No, uh, well, let's... raising 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 two school shooters is yeah, <laughs> that'd doing, be crazy, right? <laughs> you're doing something wrong, bro. You're doing something wrong for sure. <laughs> yeah, you're. Uh, um. Uh. The, if you raise two school shooters, you're definitely a descendant of Genghis Khan. All right, let's just get that out of the way. <laughs> yeah, right? You got that. You're <laughs> but you're, um, you're pretty wild. The judge, the judge presiding over the sentence, says that the decision should be a deterrent to stop school shootings in the future. I mean, hopefully I don't, it works, I don't see yeah. it that way. It's no, no, that's not how it works. If this kid, hopefully. if if you, if we got this kid, that's either because it has to be a couple of. It, there's only, and well, from my, from the way my mind works now, I have no idea. Um, you know, I'm not a psychiatrist, um, but I feel like, or a social, I don't know who would be the person that would be in charge of this type of thing and figure out the thought process behind something like this. But the way my mind works is. There's a few reasons why a kid would shoot up the school, right? Either they're just like have like a chemical imbalance type thing, right? They're just crazy, psychotic. They're just murderous. I don't know, um, mm. or they they've been bullied to the limit to where they're you know they're just going to get a specific person or something like that. I don't I don't know all the things that never you know that was never a thought of mine, so I can't really tell you why somebody would do it, right? Um, but for all the reasons that I can come up with. For being doing a school shooting, I don't see a, a, a kid at that age being able to think like, "Well, I probably shouldn't do this because my mom might get to my mom, my dad might get charged for it too." I don't know. I just don't see them having. I don't. I don't see them caring. You know. Right. I mean, that's so, fair. That's pretty fair. Yeah. So I'm. So like I said, in, in certain, certain circumstances, if the parent is complicit, the parent is just allowing their kids to have access to their guns, their weapons. Then yeah, they should be charged. But I don't think that charging them is going to deter future school shootings because in order to go into a school and just shoot up people, you have to you just have to be over the edge. You have to be past the line. It's it's you know, you gotta be past that. So yeah, it's a point of it's a point of no return for sure. Right. Like you you made a conscious decision to to take life from somebody, you know, from uh, quite a few people people that probably didn't even deserve it you know so at that point you're 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 yeah it's just something something mentally like not not clicking you know it's just desert were you were you around for columbine do you remember columbine when was when was columbine what year was that a long time ago i i, I think that might have been like the late 90s uh I, I think it was a long time. Then, then probably not. <laughs> probably right, not. right. Yeah, I don't. I think it was a while. Ago. So, um, that that was kind of like. Now I'm pretty sure it probably happened before, but that was really the one that really set it off. You know, like that was the one, like the mm -hmm. first really, um, that especially the first one I was ever aware of. That was just crazy. And if you ask me, like that's a situation where okay, get those parents. You know what I mean? Because those kids mm -hmm. were like in the basements. They were like they had like built pipe bombs and. You know, they were doing all types of different research and stuff like anybody that was paying attention to those kids should have known something bad is going to happen. You know what I mean? So, like, in situations like that, like, it's just kind of like as a parent, like, yo, be aware of your kids. Like, watch your watch your fucking kids. You know, like, the, uh, the first the first uh, the first school shoot, like major school shooting that I I was, you know, around for like that blew up was a uh, uh 
uh, Sandy Hook, like the Sandy Hook was yeah. uh, the Sandy Hook joint was the one that really made its way into into my zeitgeist, my little bubble, you know. So mm -hmm. that was the one. Yeah. Context, man. Yeah, yeah. You good? You good over there? <laughs> Context uh, okay. Can't hear you, bro. It's okay. Um, while well, context gets that all figured out, we go. We we gonna. Uh, we're going to. Uh, <laughs> you can't hear I don't me. even know. Yeah, I don't even know what he's doing over here. I'm not. I'm not. Sure, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what those gestures mean. I don't know what he's doing, but I, I don't know what he's doing. It. He's doing this. Maybe he's maybe he's saying y'all get your workouts in today. I'm not sure. Um, um, we're gonna make the tra transition. Oh, you got another? One? Yeah, yeah, I got one more. All right, cool, cool, cool. Um, I got one more. This one's crazy, actually. Um, so uh, a a court in Vietnam sentenced a real estate tycoon Trong Milan to death Thursday over her role in a twelve point five billion dollar financial fraud case. Uh, this is the country's biggest on record. Um, man, <laughs> her trial, which began on March 5th and ended earlier than planned, was one dramatic result of a campaign against corruption, which the leader of the country's ruling Communist Party, um, Nyang Fu Trong, has pledged for years to stamp out. Um, Lan, the chairman of real estate of, of real estate developer Von Ten Fat. Uh, holdings group was found guilty of embezzlement, bribery, and violations of banking rules at the end of the trial in business hub um, Ho Chi Minh City. Um, we will we will keep we will keep fighting to see what we can do. A family member told the rulers, um, "Man, so Lon had pleaded not guilty to embezzlement and bribery charges." So uh, she plans. She plans on. Uh, she plans on to appeal the verdict um, because she was sentenced to death for embezzlement, but she was sentenced like twenty years for the other two charges, right? So I'm, I guess she's she's just planning to like uh, to to appeal the death penalty. Um, okay. Um, so Vietnam imposes the death penalty mostly over violent offenses, but also for e economic crimes. Human, human rights groups say it has executed hundreds of conv convicts in recent years, mainly by lethal injection. Um, the uh, the newspaper said uh, 84 defendants in the case received sentences ranging from probation, uh, uh, probation of three years, so three years probation, to life imprisonment. Um, among them are Alon's husband, a businessman from Hong Kong who was sentenced to nine years in jail and her niece, who also who, who got 17 years. Um, <clears throat> so uh, 17 it, it, years it, tough. yeah, so the article kind of goes into like her past as like just being a businesswoman, you know, from like she was like into the uh, you know, into perfume, cosmetics, and stuff, and got into got into real estate and things like that, and then you know became embezzlement so um what really got me into this article is because like i like watching like the, one of my favorite shows is american greed i don't know if y'all hip to american greed but like that show to me is just it, i love that show right and it just kind of shows things like this um that show's fire that show's fire american yeah. Greed? fire. yeah i trip off american greed right mm -hmm. but like embezzlement uh how do y'all feel about her getting getting the death the death penalty for embezzlement <laughs> The death penalty for an embezzlement is pretty crazy. Bro. <laughs> what? You're not like, nah, son. Nah, son. For embezzlement? Well, what well, she I mean, the fraud, the fraud that they're saying she committed from embezzlement to bank fraud. Uh, let me see one more one more time. Hold on, real quick. It says um she got four. Um hold on, y'all, hold on. Embezzlement and bribery. So she, so she, so she got embezzlement and, and bribery, and um, there's one more charge. One more charge. You're not a mob. Right, um, you can't be bribing niggas. Oh, in, in in violations. So so violations of violations of bank violations of uh bank like wire like wire fraud. So it's like wire fraud, embezzlement, and bribery. 
You know what I mean? So you got so you gotta be if you're bribing somebody, you know who you're bribing. You're bribing right. government officials, you're bribing like other bank officials, you know what I'm saying? Embezzlement, but it was but but text, it was 12.5 billion dollars. Mm. And there's 80, there's 84 other people that got sentenced in this. So this is a huge, a huge ring. That's you know, this is, this, this is huge. So, <clears throat> so a lot of people got paid off of this. That gave that gave the lady wait, wait, wait. That, she, gave, that gave the lady two twenty on. year sentences in a death penalty. She thought she thought she was gonna get away with twelve billion dollar like bribing and embezzlement. Apparently, yo. that's yo. <laughs> she's she's got she's got nerves to steal, bro. She's so got, I can't turn ten k to a hundred k anymore. <laughs> nah, <laughs> this is, Yo, uh, and nigga, not, 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 be, not, not, be, Yo, not, you can't not, she's not, 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 Back to back twenty Jones, you got two twenty pieces, and then they threw a death. Pit. Just they said no, no, no. Just in case you think you're gonna escape alive, we got you at the end. Nah, so just give me the death penalty, bro. And they said, and, and they nah, said nah, facts. Nah, I just like throw throw the two twenty year sentences when you because like the judge, you know what you're about to give me. So even right. saying the two twenty year Jones and then saying the death penalty, that's so like that's so petty, like. Nah, you know what? I you know what I'll do. I, I do I do like how Bell did that time you jumped over the, the, the joint on the on the judge. <laughs> I'd say I'd have been like this shit there and said you got 20 for this. I'd have been like, oh, fuck, I'd have looked at my I'd have looked at my lawyer like bitch ass nigga, I paid you all this fucking money you got for 20 years. <laughs> Yo, that's you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> then, then he would have been. Then he would have been like that. So that's so that's that's for the bribery. I'd be like, damn, right. dude. I'm so right. what the fuck am I paying you for? I couldn't even get right, off the bribery. Right, right. Then he would have been like twenty more years for the bank fraud. I would have looked like, bro, I'm gonna ask somebody to come see you. And then, <laughs> and then the the, the judge the judge would have been like in the death penalty. I, I would have snapped over to the judge like. Oh, so you just playing with my fucking life? Okay, I just play with me, bro. You just play with this. Me. I would have played it so smooth. I'd have been like, oh, I'm so reversal. <laughs> Jumped on that thing, came back like, come here. I, I would have oh, tell him what it did, boy. Oh, if, I was, if I was in the, yeah, if I was like, in the court, get behind her that fast. I would have been right there, like, <laughs> bro. Yo, I'm a holler. If I was in the, if I was in the, uh, quick, like, yo, what, son? It if I was in like, the court room, the, the, the Dave Chappelle, right. remember the Dave Chappelle skit? Uh, when he was like, you're too close, man. You're too close. And he's like, <laughs> I would have been just like that on my club, son. It's like, ah, just, what are you doing? It's like, what are you doing? Then the bro, lawyer, son, nah, you you play with if me. I was in that courtroom, bro, like, first off, you know, me being 25, if he would have gave me, you know, the 40 years, I'd be like, oh, dang, you know, that, that's that's tough. But, I mean, I'll get out at 65, you know. I'll still have a little bit of life left. Right. But then he would have been like, oh, and, and you got the death penalty. Too. So bro. what am I doing? Yo, no, 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 no. Don't, <laughs> play, with us, like, Don't play with like, me. What are we what doing, am I, bro? You, you're about to take 40 years of my life and make me just chill. And 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 basically be a slave at that because it's, everybody knows about the prison system. It kind of reminds me of those. Uh, it kind of reminds me of those sentences where you, people get sentenced for like two life sentences. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what's back, the point? Yeah, what's back, the point of that? Just just tell me. Just tell me I'm getting a life sentence. <laughs> first of all, first of all, if you're adding the death penalty back on the, on the backside, so no, 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 I want it on the front end, bro. Just give me the give me the twenty years after. Give me the forty years after. Give me the death penalty on the front end, my nigga. I don't need the back. I don't need that shit on the back end, bro. That's a right. terrible back end, bro. That's a terrible. Back <laughs> That's end, terrible back. End. Holy smoke! You're getting the forty years up front, and then you're getting the death penalty on the back end. I'm good, nigga. I'm out of there, boy. You kidding me? Shit. I might end up like I'm not even gonna hold you. So let me let me chill, man. Let me chill. That's insane, though. Like, um, hey, listen. If you're gonna embezzle and fraud. Uh, which we do not condone. Those are crimes. We do not mm -hmm. condone white collar crimes, blue collar crimes. We don't condone any of those. However, if you're going to embezzle and bribe, I mean, if you're going to embezzle and do bank fraud, the last thing you want to do is bribe people. That's not, mm -hmm. that, that doesn't work in movies, doesn't work in real life. It's, it's not, it's not good. It's not good, bro. It's not good. So, so the thing is here, like I told you before already, 84 other defendants were, were, were sentenced in this. 
Oh yeah, eighty four so. other defendants. And they got they got between three years probation and life imprisonment. One of the people that got life imprisonment. So she was found guilty of bribing officials to persuade the authorities to look away, including paying five point two million dollars to a senior central bank inspector, a senior bank inspector, Dothai Nan, who was also sentenced to life in prison. Yo, what? <clears throat> what? <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she wasn't playing. Bro. She wasn't playing. So she my wasn't thing is, my thing is, well, I, <laughs> did, she did, gave him five point two mil. <laughs> no, no. So did he accept it? That so I'm assuming. I'm yeah, assuming hell that yeah, he accepted. accepted. Oh, yeah, okay, that's, okay, that's, okay. that's why he. That's why he got life. I'm oh, getting I life I because I, I accepted generational wealth. Well, five point two. I don't know if that's generational. Yet. Was hilarious. You can hilarious. you can turn that into you can. Into, oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, you, though, if you blow that type of money, you're a bozo. I'm not gonna hold you. If you blow that type of money, you're a bozo. Or your answer. Oh, but yeah, they're blowing it because it's like yo, if you if you you got if you got to figure it. Like if I'm taking these types of bribes, I'm thinking this money coming in from this. I'm not. And if one person's bribing me, I'm not just. You know, when you getting bribed, you're not just Yo, taking what? one bribe. You know what I'm saying? Like people, people that people that accept bribes all just like they they get they're like, well, shit. If I'm on the take, like if you, if you're on the take, if you're on the take. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 like, right, right. Like right. dirty, like dirty cops. Dirty cops don't just rob one drug dealer. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, like right. They, once they do it, they they go crazy. So he, you know, he probably he was probably blowing money fast. You know what I'm saying? Fucking models and you know buying yachts and shit like that. <laughs> this is not. <laughs> it's never gonna end. Yeah, that's, right. what, he, that's, what, he, that's what he think it is, man. It's never gonna. <laughs> yeah, forever. That's insane, yeah. bro. That's this, you know, because right, you got to think about it. Like you said, if you take in, if you first of all, once you take one bribe, you're already down the rabbit hole. You can't, you can't like, like, oh, have a moral compass with it. You gotta go for the gusto, son. Now I'm taking here, here, here. I gotta take the bribe on top of the bribe just to make sure mm -hmm. that the bribe is situated. Nah, son. <laughs> you gotta put you gotta put insurance on the bribe. I need bribe insurance. Nah, so and these, most a lot a lot of people that start take bribes, you know, they, they get just a little taste of that life, and so they feel like they feel like they're doing something like they feel like I'm in control. Now, now they get to try and extort the people that they took the bribe. <laughs> not, 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 not. You know what I'm saying? They like, well, they're like, well, yeah, you gave me that money, but you know, though you can't turn right. the faucet off now. Like I need right, that, or right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, um, yeah, man. So she she went crazy, bro. Uh, they said she's obviously going to appeal the death penalty verdict. But as I read earlier, they said in the past couple of years, Vietnam has already executed 87 people. So mm -hmm. like, they got the thirst for blood. The games, you know what I'm saying? Vietnam's not playing <laughs> oh, the games. Smokes. Yeah. yeah, well, they thought Texas was no. wicked. Go to Vietnam yeah. and try that shit. <laughs> so those are the that. those are the uh, those are the current events for today. Um, we wanted to get through that. Like I told y'all, if you want to know the weather, take your ass outside, look up, and if you get wet, that means it's raining. Uh, if you want to no, know, if you want to know, if you want to know, if you want to know the gas, if you want to know the gas prices. Take your ass to the gas station. Nah, nah, I'm not doing that to the we got, man. I'm not nah, doing that. Text, no text. No text. It's too, it's too late for that shit, text. We got shit to get to. Today. Yeah, we got some things to get to, man. <laughs> Go get uh, your listen, you Go know. This man, is... You this know is, is oh, you did the current events. Yeah, you did the current events, man. Early, son. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, it got real serious. This is oh, culture God. talk, man. We got to get a to serious culture, day, Tex. This is Yo, culture listen, talk, man. Uh, listen. first off, we're gonna we gonna run down some some quick hits. Um, first and foremost, uh, we gotta let me mask up real quick, yo. Let me mask up, man. Yeah, we got a we got a scary movie reboot in the works. Um, you know whoever whoever I I don't know who asked for this to be honest with you. Um. Yeah, but uh, we also have that shit wasn't funny the first time. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it was. Oh, scary yeah. movie, scary movie. Yeah, yeah, scary, yeah, yeah. scary movie. Don't be funny. Yeah, that shit wasn't funny. The funny, the first yeah, time. the funny. Yeah. yeah. Um, we also have a Transformers and GI Joe crossover movie. Um, is officially in the works. So, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, kind of half and half on that. Uh, a couple it days ago, fire. it might be fire. GI Joe is G is G is GI Jane going to make an appearance in this shit too, or, or what? <laughs> I don't. 
I don't think so. <laughs> oh, I don't think G.I. James is making it. Jada Pickett Smith? What the fuck? What the fuck? What type of fucking cameo do you want? Yo, yo, ox, 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 ox. Leave Jada alone, son. <laughs> nah, Leave nah, because because G because GI Jane is Demi Moore, right? That was Demi. <laughs> well, nah, obviously, obviously, it won't be anymore. Not according to Chris got... Rock, Chris Rock said that GI Jane is about to be <laughs> right, right. right. But but I'm saying the 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 original GI Jane is right. that was Demi Moore, right? Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But I mean, that was a while ago. Demi Moore, she got to be pushing seventy now, so I'm sure it wouldn't be. Her. <laughs> what but, the like, fuck? <laughs> Demi Moore old as fuck. <laughs> like, ain't no oh, way she can do it. Um, hey, hey, maybe they were gonna put Sydney get... Sweeney. I wouldn't be surprised. I swear to God, I was just about to say that. Text you, <laughs> y'all, you know, I was gonna go her, here. bro. I'm, yo, I'm gonna hold you. <laughs> and, and listen, I, and listen, she's 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 some good milk. I'm not gonna hold you. She's some good milk. But yeah, yeah, gotta stop spamming her, bro. Give her a vacation, bro. Yeah, Give her yeah, 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 yeah. They they overdoing her right spamming now. Her, really spamming her, bro. That's spamming her, bro. They crazy. gotta. No, no, they no, gotta. No. Let's no no days off. Let's spam nah, this. Bro. Let's. Let's 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 spam this milk until it gets old. There's plenty of Bruh, milk. Cause then, cause then it's gonna get corny. Right, he's right. He's right. He's right. Once there is a shelf life for this type of milk. You feel what I'm saying? Once, you know what I'm saying? You once she's wanna, done. Once she's done. Once, once, once it goes sour, it goes sour. Right, right, right. Once 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 gravity <laughs> play, once gravity plays its role. You know what I'm saying? We can. Mm. Yeah, it's a, yeah. It's a, who's next? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sydney Sweeney Sydney Sweeney turns into Mel Street in two years. It's really crazy. It's crazy. Who's next as well? <laughs> All right. Um, we also got uh the official trailer for the new Joker movie that's coming out. It is it is officially a musical. Like that, I wasn't lying about that. It was a musical, and the trailer trailer's fire. You know, trailer's fire. But but I think it's like you said, you and J. Robo points into that. It's more so like real shit is happening, mm. but they just keep going to inside his brain and what it looks like, and yeah. in his brain, that's what a musical is at. So I don't think it's gonna right. be just going like. A one two minute thing where it's gonna break out into song and dance, but yeah. like you guys said, especially with Lady Gaga being Harley Quinn, now I'm interested now because Harley, I mean Lady Gaga, she be bugged out like she be I don't know like from her <laughs> face to the way that she act like she's a very I, like strange person. So I think that should I think good. she's gonna smoke this role. Yeah, she's gonna smoke that shit. Okay, yeah, because she was she already weird shit. in her earlier career. Earlier right. in her career, she was already like cr- kind of crazy. Yeah, so yeah, like right, right, right. she she just got to tap back into that, yeah. and I think I think she's gonna smoke that. Yeah, because so. I, I loved I loved Gaga in that in that in that one joint, uh, Stars Born. Oh, the yeah. joint with um, what's his Bradley name? Cooper. Yeah, 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 Bradley Cooper. Cooper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, right. I, I heard it was good. I never I never saw. It. I heard it was it was fire. Yeah, she did her thing in that. Um, last thing on the quick hits. Uh, a couple of days ago, Jonathan Majors uh was. Sentenced to one year of domestic violence counseling, he will serve no jail time. So, you know, he got out of it without any jail time. Um, I don't know what that means for his uh, movie acting career, because uh, they still cut him from the Marvel movies. Like he's yeah. out of there, so uh, he's gonna have to find something else. Uh, hopefully, we cool. could just restart yeah. from two B. You know what I mean? Two B Netflix. <laughs> Start on two B. Do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go crazy on two B and Netflix. You know what I mean? Because um, the two is his his is what I'm gonna do if I'm him. If I'm him, I go two B. Make um get spam two B. I'm a spam two. I'm gonna be like the shooter, the superstar of two B, right? And right, then yeah. that's gonna that's, that's gonna generate my money, my income for the year, and all that shit. And then I, mm. I'm trying out for everything else. You know what I'm saying? And you know, get back into the good graces. But yeah, be a superstar on two B and Netflix, my boy. Like, what's up with you? Come on, lock in. Yeah, so, for sure. You, um, yeah, for, you gotta yeah, get, you for gotta sure. Get out of, I mean, bro, that's I mean a, you're gonna co sign that. Yeah, for the, sure. Uh, the Netflix, the two B part, kind of crazy. But the Netflix okay, part, yeah. he can find some <laughs> Netflix movies to be in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Netflix is that. always looking for some. <laughs> Netflix is always looking for some uh, superstars on there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah man. Netflix, yeah. Netflix, Netflix, Netflix playing them niggas a thousand dollars a movie, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's insane that's insane hey if netflix paying a thousand i can only imagine to be paying like a hundred <laughs> like that man, be- yo, to, be, to be to be giving you breakfast <laughs> <laughs> uh, now but my thing is look, look, look my thing is it don't really take that long to shoot a to be movie it take like maybe like three days so you can really you can really load it up like you feel me you can get back to back to back to back to back to back and i'm eventually them 50 dollar checks is gonna add up you feel what i'm saying like right yeah <laughs> 
Um, I mean, he's still got, yeah, that's all. Why you keep co-signing? I'm, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying he's speaking facts. To be if he's stacking up those two be checks, <laughs> if he's stacking up the two be No, 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 yo, Jonathan Majors, he has no opportunity to be picky and choosy, bro. <laughs> like, take right, what you can't get, be bro. picky, bro. To be you gotta Netflix, bro. Lock in, nigga. The fuck? The the thing is, he got he got Megan Good still holding him down. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the thing. Right? <laughs> Meg is good. What? Nigga, she on two B two. What are you talking about? I'm saying like, she not on two. What? Vivica, she Vivica, not on Vivica, Vivica out here making two B movies. Meg all her way. If she, Megan, if she want to Megan get good is, is she? She still got you know TV shows that she gonna be on. You know what I'm saying? She got the TV. Who's the last TV show you seen her on? She was on a. Uh, uh, what's the? Yes, I'm saying. <laughs> Last time, last time I seen Megan Good. Last time I seen Megan Good. I don't know if you're so happy to Nickelodeon, but them niggas, them niggas are fucking out of here, Yo, yo, last time I seen Megan Good, she was having fake seizures in the bank while with with, with the game. Oh, 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 <laughs> she was falling on the stuff. <laughs> 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 Yo, that um, that's mad funny, son. Listen, man, it was uh. That's I don't know. Megan Megan will be all right though. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, hopefully they'll all be straight. Uh, I I ain't really. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what Megan needs to do. She need to drop that link in her bio. You feel me? I feel you. I feel you for sure. <laughs> ox, 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 ox. I, 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 hold on, real quick, real quick, Dezo, real quick, Dezo. I'm gonna up, need man? you to stop telling people. To drop their link in they bu- drop the link to their bio. I need you to stop. I heard you say that yesterday to Swiper and low key. I almost took a flight, first class flight to come to Mexico and fight you, bro. You gotta relax. You got to relax. This nigga's bugging the fuck. Yo, listen. Oh, you my man. I, I, I can't let you crash out like this. All right. I know you want uh, to. I'm I not crashing, you bro. You text, text. You haven't seen the video I'm talking about. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so then come on, bro. Nigga, <laughs> you're not gonna keep talking. You're not gonna keep talking crazy to me on the panel, and you got videos on the internet with you playing with your titties in the uh, in the mirror, bro. I ain't going for that shit, bro. Like, yeah, I've been, I've been, I've been trying, I've been, I've been trying to, I've been trying to keep it cool with my man because that's he's a cool dude. I like Swiper. Don't get me wrong, I love bro. He's a, he's a, he's a good dude. He's a, he's an intelligent young brother. You know what I'm saying? I got nothing but love for him. But right. don't keep playing with me like right. I'm not being like I'm not being gracious and and I'm, I'm happy to have you right. on a panel. I'm not trying to cook. I'm but every time I open my mouth, bro, don't say something crazy to me. So you keep doing okay. Now I'm like, all right, bro, l- l- let's do this thing. You know what I mean? So <laughs> nigga, drop that link, nigga. We, we girl, you know you got the, you know you got an OF, nigga. Come but on. drop it for Diddy. But drop it for Diddy. Don't <laughs> drop it for the panel. Drop no for Diddy. Diddy. <laughs> no Diddy. No Diddy. <laughs> drop the link for Diddy. Um, L slander to my childhood crush. Yo, hey, they they all they everybody got a shelf life, bro. Right. Listen, man, let's she still look good though. She still look good. Uh, in the mother. Woo, woo. <laughs> let's let's get to let's I'm get to surprised. what everybody came here for, man. You know, we all know we're here for. You see, yeah. Dezel, uh, uh Abby in the chat, he he thought we already got through this. So he said nah, he nah, nah. Yeah, Abby, you right on time, bro. You right on time. Let's let's get to it, man. Um, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, real quick, real quick, real quick. Dezo, um, we have to shout out the other milk. Um, Margie Margot Robbie is going to be doing live action Monopoly. I don't know what it's gonna be about. I don't give a fuck. A live action be. Monopoly. Yeah, I, I sounds okay. like an L. I'm not gonna hold you. Sounds like an L, but because Margot Robbie's in it, <laughs> it's a W. So chat, lock in. <laughs> And to be fair, before you say anything else, Dezo, I'm from this fucking era. Let me show you before we get knocked out. I'm from that fucking era, man. Where's your fucking chain? Give me your fucking chain, nigga. All right. So we haven't we haven't spoken about this uh, situation um, since uh j cole's album drop so i'm gonna just run down a couple of the current events that have led to where we are today right yeah give us the time um, break it down to the yeah i'm gonna give you all the timeline real quick. <clears throat> so nigga, man. so so last friday uh j cole dropped a surprise album called 
uh, My Delete Later, um, where on the last track, Seven Minute Drill, he issued a diss towards Kendrick Lamar. Um, it was it was a pretty decent couple jabs in there, you know. Uh, it was basically a matchup to what Kendrick dropped um, when he was on Metro's album, the first album, uh, We Don't Trust You. Um, might de- might delete later. Should have let yeah. us know already. Yeah, he, yeah. Um, so so Cole, Google not even not even a week later, in the span of forty eight hours. Um, you know, it just wasn't sitting right with him. Uh, his spirit, his spirit was out of line. You know, God, God was looking down at him like, why'd you do that? And so, uh, and so he got on Dreamville stage, his Dreamville Fest stage. Yo, t- yo, Dezo, don't, p- don't put this on God. God wouldn't do that. God didn't tell you stand up for yourself. <laughs> nigga, be a That's man. What- he grab, said that grab, his spirit grab was, your ball stand on your nuts. Nigga. That's what God he was said that his spirit was out of line. I, I, I'm just going off based on what he was talking about. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hold so, on, man. Let me go roll up. Let me go roll up some J. Cole runs. Hold on, man. <laughs> go ahead. So within 48 hours, he got on Dreamville stage <laughs> and issued an apology to one Kendrick Lamar. And I gotta I gotta tell you, man, like this is making Kendrick Lamar look like the boogeyman out here. Uh, he's really, he's really the Bobby Yaga of the rap game. He's really, he's really Voldemort out here, you know. He uh, shall nah, not be oh, named. oh, Kendrick. Oh, okay, Kendrick. Kendrick, Kendrick. Kendrick shall called. not be named. He shall not be named. You know what I'm saying? He's got. No, he's you, got can't, you can't. You can't. You can't. He can't be Voldemort because Voldemort had a worthy adversary. You know what I'm saying? Dumbledore was a bad motherfucker, and Cole is a bitch ass nigga. So we can he cannot no. <laughs> damn, nigga, damn, There's nigga. No fucking way. Um, <laughs> damn, nigga. So so, and I've I've seen a lot of people on on Twitter, and on YouTube, gaslighting everybody in the hip hop world who's calling Cole soft for this. They're gaslighting everybody, saying, "Oh no, man, y'all just not seeing how." He's he's manning up, you know what I'm saying? He's taking the high road. He's 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 looking within himself and growing and, and developing as a person. Fuck all that, man. This is rap. Nobody was finna die from this. This is rap. We we putting bars on paper and talking to each other. This ain't no. And the thing is, I would understand all that. If Cole wasn't putting that energy out into the world, you know what I'm saying? Cole, for the last, basically for his whole career, basically, has been saying, I feel like the greatest. I can kill any rapper on a on a track. I've been killing all these features. Nobody can rap with me. <clears throat> Say Yo, my Dezo, name what in was, a verse. Dezo, Dezo, what, what was the one song? Remember in the, in the video, he was riding around in the car, like, doing dance and shit? Niggas be counting me out. I'm running and I'm You know what I'm yeah. talking about? Like, yeah, nigga, don't yeah, drop no shit yeah, like that. Yeah. You do this, you whole ass nigga. I swear to God, uh, oh, I can't believe. I can't believe. He, how you gonna let Nas down again? Oh, you put you put you put your legs up. You put your ankles behind your ears. Cole. We need to change it. No, 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 yeah, yeah. What what is this? What does the title say? J Cole has no backbone. No, 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 no. no. We're gonna put Fold World lets Nas down again. Cause what the fuck, yo? Are you? I got you. Me, I got you. I'm on that right now. Yo, my fault, my uh, fault, my fault. Ox, go ahead. Uh, Adezo Ox, let me just finish rolling up J. Cole in this blunt real quick. My fault. <laughs> he put his so, he put his ankles behind his ears. Oh my god. So so pause. that's the thing. Pause. That, yeah, that pa- pause on that. But that's pause. the that's the thing, right? No pause. There's there's big diddy. <laughs> no pause. Yo, I'm out of here. <laughs> go ahead. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. I need to roll up. So, so the thing is, right? I would understand if if Cole never talked about these kind of things. If Cole, if Cole was an Andre three thousand kind of rapper, because Andre three thousand never comes out and brags about being the great, even though he's she's up there for sure. But he never brags about how he'll kill every, any rapper on a on a feature, how he'll destroy anybody. You know, Common doesn't come out here and be like, yo. You rappers don't want nothing with me. And and the thing is, Common's been in rap beef. <laughs> Common's multiple been times, in rap beef. Multiple times. Multiple like, times. But the thing is, 
like you can't you can't put that kind of energy out in the world and and when somebody challenges you on those claims mm-hmm. you're like no nah, this ain't sitting real well with my spirit check your spirit then bro this that man in a more in a more spiritually friendly way then bro say that he's his ego big if if you dissing his albums meant that your spirit was out of line because you didn't want to you didn't even believe that his out that's that's the thing right j cole didn't believe what he was talking about on that record he nothing, didn't believe that his album nothing he didn't nothing. believe that his albums was garbage not yo so go ahead, he should have just not no, said that no, <laughs> just don't say yo, that. Dezo, is it is it possible is it at all possible that maybe maybe drake is behind this maybe drake called Cole like yo come on bro don't do this like we need to, we need to go back, Cole. Don't do this, bro. I can't handle this beef right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm not prepared, Cole. Please, you're putting me in a tough spot, dog. Like, like you know, hold me down, Cole. Don't do this, bro. I, I don't. I'm not ready for this. Is it possible that maybe the Drizzlers are behind this? No, man. See, the the thing is, right? I think I think this is what I was saying um, the last time we yep, talked man. about this beef, right? I think. Uh-huh. This is what Drake was supposed to do. Drake was supposed to let Cole go out first. Cole was supposed to go out first. Um, this is a chess move because now Drake knows, all right, I can't diss his albums because that's what got Cole messed up in the first place. Because there was a lot of backlash about Cole dissing um, Kendrick's albums. Because so, it doesn't make any sense. Because it doesn't make any so, sense. So here's the thing, right? <clears throat> So that was that was 48 hours after that. 48 hours. Let's let's move let's move to to where we are today. Last night. Last night Metro and Future dropped. <laughs> we still don't trust you. Stupid, stupid nigga. That's what it should have been at the end of the other part. <laughs> stupid nigga. <laughs> What? Bags, <laughs> Respectfully. Bags. <laughs> like something at the end. There should have there should have been an exclamation point. Like <laughs> respectfully, stupid nigga, bozo, something, bro. Hey, bitch boy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, something. Something. Nigga, something. We still don't trust you, bitch boy. That's what he should have said. Bro. Something, bro. Fuck, man. Fuck, nigga. Something like that. You <laughs> something, know what I mean? Something, nigga. What the fuck? <laughs> Hey, we gonna oh, get demonetized. Um, oh, I'm gonna fuck so, that money, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn, so, bro, look, Kelly, you know what's Kelly, going on? I'm, t- I'm gonna tell you, Kelly, I'm gonna tell you like this. this one, man. Oh, god, hey, you know what it is, though? <laughs> you know what? Do y'all know what Cole just did, bro? Y'all know what Cole just did? And I'm look, I'm a 90s baby, right? I'm a 90s baby. So when we was coming up, we used to, you know, we used to talk shit and like, wait, pick on, pick on light skin niggas. Cole is making it so hard for light skinned niggas right now, but and we was we was we all that was done. Like we was we right. was all together. We love we love our light skinned brothers. We love our our less pigmented brothers. You know what I'm saying? We are embracing each other now. This ain't the '90s or early thousands no more. We here. We here together now. But now, Cole we not. and Drake. No, not. Cole and Drake are are they're they're setting they're setting light skinned niggas back a whole decade. Getting getting bu- uh, getting bullied getting bullied by this dark skinned nigga from California. Yeah, five foot, five foot so, two nigga. And that's so here, five here's foot the, two nigga at that. A little, a little <laughs> itty bit, a little itty bitty nigga. He's five five, bro. Drake is six fuck? one. Cole is six. Cole is six, six four, three, bro. Six four. Bullied by what are y'all scared of? <laughs> Who are y'all scared of, bro? <laughs> They're setting um, light skinned niggas back a decade. So so here's the thing, right? So last night. Let me just run this down real quick. Last night, uh, J. Cole showed showed he has no backbone, man. Um, he was featured on on the album with Metro and Future. Real quick, that's all facts. Shift God, all the work that Steph and Clay just put in. J. Cole and Drake. <laughs> this is that's mad all funny. <laughs> that's mad funny shit. That's mad funny, son. That's mad funny. Uh, oh, <laughs> Yo, so look the shift down for that one. That's dumb funny. Go ahead. Jason. Um. So, so the, my thing is, so, so Metro and and Future called up Kendrick and had Kendrick on the song on their first album, where they he was dissing J. Cole. J. Cole dissed Kendrick and then ended up 
taking it back so that he could be on the album of the the two guys that allowed Kendrick Lamar to diss them on on their on their album. J. Cole, what? I'm not gonna lie, that's that's crazy. Hold on, we got a we got a special guest appearance, man. We got a we are Ron in the building, man. What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? Defend, defend, defend your man. Defend him. I'm not up here to defend no light skin nigga. I'm not up here <laughs> to defend nobody. No, no rap beef. No nothing. All I'm trying to say is, y'all ain't never caught a body and felt bad about it. Y'all ain't never, y'all ain't never slapped a nigga and been like, damn. The next word, damn. I probably shouldn't have no, slapped Ron, him in front of his baby mama. Over here, Ron. Don't hey, bring hey, that. I, I, I probably shouldn't have slapped him in front of his baby mama. Don't hey, y'all ain't never walked in a party. No, hey, y'all ain't never walked in a party and jawed a nigga and start hey, and started stomping him out and been like, you know Ron. what? I probably shouldn't have did this. Hey, I'm speaking personal experiences. Y'all ain't never. Hey, hey, snuck into the gym locker room, ran into a nigga, ran into a nigga bag, stole his wallet, took his iPad. <laughs> it was like, man, maybe I should have left his ID. <laughs> I should have took his. No, I should have took fam school ID. Ron, because of that. I'm, I'm Ron, from two YMCA's because the, of that. Because of what? Because of what specifically, Ted? Oh, because of what specifically? Don't don't incriminate yourself, Ted. Don't incriminate yourself, Ted. Alright, alright, alright. Ron, the thing is, the thing is, J Cole, J Cole didn't just walk into the gym or walk into the bar and draw somebody. You know what I'm saying? J. Cole walked into the bar, got snuffed, got, and then got up, and then, you know, hit, hit back with a couple light jabs, and then was like, you know, let's stop doing this. Let's, let's go sit at the bar and, like, have a drink, you know what I'm saying? We can, we can work together. Like, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yo, Ron. Uh, Y'all never got to fight I mean, and it made up afterwards? Uh, Ron, yeah. Ron, Ron, but Ron, not, Ron, so, Ron, so, Ron, so, Ron, so they supposed to take this to the grave? Not no 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 no, but not no, during Ron, the fight. The, the fight, panel. the fight was you still going on. Devil's advocate, no, no, that's hope. You're engaging in the bullshit, Ron. Ron, you understand what happened. You what happened? You are from, from that <laughs> what happened? Cut from that club. I'm hoping what that happened? you cut from that club. I don't even know anymore at this point. I don't know if you cut from that club because you know and I know what era that we came from. We understand. This is the safest. The safest fucking battle that J. Cole was going to have in his life. Nothing was going to happen. Everything was going to be on rap. So he, he had rap, to win rap, already? Rap, That's rap. what you're saying? He didn't have to win. He, hit, he hit Kendrick with a couple light jabs, bro. That was Run. it. But hold, but hold on, though, yo. Hold on, though. Because my thing is, it's not like... Like I think what what, what, what I think I think I think what, I think what does I think what I think what Tex is alluding to is just obvious, like bro. This rap wasn't like it wasn't like you was rap beef with no you know with no with no savages. Like this ain't no you know this ain't no hood niggas. Like you don't gotta worry about you don't gotta worry about going to your show. Like these 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 for all intents and purposes these dudes is like you know they partners. Like we 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 got a mutual respect. So you saying this like we can we can really go at it now. I can say all types of shit to you. We can really funk like on wax. And we can really get to it. Wordplay, oh. malicious, malicious wordplay. We can really do this. There was no need for you to act like your life was in danger. Or I just feel so bad. Like you need, first of all, the shot, the, the the warning shots you gave him weren't even that crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you feel bad for, bro? Like, what, what are you talking? Oh my, your, your your chakras are out of line now. It's not, he want this motherfucker want to be so Tibetan monk. Like, oh, I'm just I'm just in touch with everything, bro. Cut your dreads off, nigga. Hey, hey, is it possible that Cole was scared of retaliation? So he was kind of like, you know what? It, it's Kendrick. We don't need to do this no more. We need to be bigger than him. Was was it was it possible that that could be the case? I mean, it's no possible. Go ahead, but go ahead. at the same time, it's like, yo, just if you lose, you lose, bro. If you lose the battle, you lose. Like, just don't, but don't take things back in the moment like you still in the battle bro you still in you you put the track out there and now and now it's like all that doesn't mean nothing no more you know what i'm saying like that don't mean nothing ron ron let me holler at you real quick ron what's me, up what's up talk to me my my thing is is let's let's let's, let's be for real cole listen to the feedback what happened everybody from 
the his peers, um, former peers, Joe Budden, all these guys, everybody was critical and said what he did was some mid. In my opinion, I think if J. Cole got the reaction that he wanted, oh yeah, now we on. He put out some boo-boo shit. People was not rocking with it. They said, ah, you got to try again, my buddy, my, my guy. And he said, you know what? If I try harder, then maybe I'm going to get into that quote-unquote dark zone. And maybe he doesn't know how to go. He can't, he can't lyrically spar. He doesn't know how to lyrically spar. It's, it's literally just he knows how to throw fluff and all around. He doesn't know how to phys- like engage in sparring. Which is th- because, yo, Ron, you, Ox. Ox is, uh, Ox is your man. Shaq is your man. When you play ones, right? When you play ones with Dell and stuff like that, you're going to be talking shit way more crazy versus somebody that you don't know. Obviously, you're going to be talking shit in any type of game, but because you know these guys, you know I I have more room that we can really get into it. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I know that he's not going to take it serious. Shaq not going to take it serious. We could really get in there. I could really get into the, the mind and the psyche. You know what I'm saying? With the trash talk. How do you fumble this, J. Cole? And let's be fair, Dezo, you not slick too, nigga. You saw what Drake, you saw what Drake did. Drake went and said, "Yo, yo, 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 go fight him, bro." And then when he yeah, sees, he sent he he his stronger he soldier said, out there. Oh, let me get up out of there. Yeah, he, he baited, he baited J. Cole. How did, into a how did Drake bait him? He though? baited him right into a landmine. How did Drake bait him? Uh, by not jumping outside with him. By not jumping. Because let's be for real. Um, what they were supposed to do a collab this track? Cole? Mm-hmm. That would have been in the corner here. No, 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 Ron, Ron, my thing is, my thing is, you can even listen to the mixtape, the mixtape sound like he did it during the tour when he was with Jay, because it it does feel like it's like tour, like mixtape-ish, but I'm going to say this too, Ron, you, you know, and I know, my thing is, you put that song out, you know, I mean, you hear that like that song, and then all of a sudden, you see that Jay Cole's about to, I mean, people are clamoring for a response, what are you going to do as a tactician, if you're Drake? You think you're going to crash out too? No, 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 no. Let the hungry guy, the guy that's trying to catch up with both of us, let him crash out first. I want to see what the temperature's like. I'm going to do more. Hold on. First off, Tex. First off. Cole got this shit. Second off, before I get up out of here, uh, Tex, we'll talk about this later. We'll talk about this later. Second off, before I get up out of here, I just got to say, I have to say, once again, I got to reiterate it. Y'all ain't never slapped a nigga and felt bad about it. Hey, look, look, look. Y'all ain't never hit nobody's baby mama and been like, you know what? I probably should no. have baby mama like that. No, right, no, 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 hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. I'm fucking so, nigga baby mama. She, she's just, she's so, just so, cooked. So this is what I'm she, saying. She, so, she, so, I'm, oh, I'm, giving, so, I'm giving her, so, I'm giving so her Texas. ankles, I'm giving her ankles, ankles to ears, just like Kendrick yeah. did call. Death row, death row. Right. So That's Texas asked the two hardest niggas on earth that don't feel no emotions. They ain't never did nothing wrong and been like, oh, man, I shouldn't have did that. Nah, nah. Yo, niggas is just stone cold killers. Yo, and, they just, and they just running around slapping kids in the back of their heads and pushing pushing women over and, and, and running over animals and feeling like, oh, man, it doesn't matter. I'm, see, you know? see, the, the thing right. is, as a, as a man, I feel, <laughs> as a man, you know, I feel what Cole did. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you feel bad about, about something that you did. But, but the thing is, feeling bad about something while you're hitting them like you're in the fight bro you're you, this is mid war you feel bad about something after like the dust settles you know what i'm saying you'd be like all right you know we we got our we got our so fight out the a, way a day wasn't enough for the dust to settle no well, however however much time it was kendrick didn't even have time to respond yo, kendrick didn't good. say nothing yet <laughs> ron is good yo ron is good ron is kendrick ron. didn't say nothing yet ron like ron like if, i would understand if you know kendrick says something and Kendrick bodied him on a track and was like, all right. You know, Cole was like, all right, well, you got that one. You know what I'm saying? Let's piece it up. Go on tour. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's do that collab album that everybody has been waiting for. That'd be cool. All right, y'all. I got to no run. Shot. Hey, text. Text. Right quick. Cole clears, nigga. Yo, yo. yo Cole, 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 Cole don't, don't, I'm going to fucking kill Ron. Cole don't son. clear a thing. I swear to God, I'm going to kill Ron. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yo, hey, I, shit. I got I I got, got a slide too, though. But, um. Right, 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 right. I mean, he's not lying though. Cole, Cole definitely does clear. That's why I don't understand why he went out like a bitch. You know what I'm saying? He didn't have to do that. That's <laughs> Cole could have got, got him. Cole could have got him right now. He's in this. He's in this. 
All right, child. <laughs> oh, could have got him for sure. I'm so I'm just so disappointed in this nigga. He really set light skin niggas back a whole decade. Ladies and after gentlemen, after all that, after all that work, after all that work, Clay and Steph put in, he just put him back <laughs> in a whole decade. Man. That's crazy. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be dropping the link. Uh, feel free to hey before y'all get out of here, leave a like, comment, um, subscribe if you're new. Yeah, we know we know y'all about to go to the panel. Yeah, yeah, we know yeah, y'all about to go to the sure. thing, But leave a like for the kid, you heard? Like, leave a like for but, the guys, uh, you know what I'm saying? While we roll we gonna, this um J. Cole runs up. Yeah, yeah, we gonna we gonna this is this is probably what we're gonna be talking about for for the next, you know, till we in the show, to be honest with you. Um so so another aspect of this, right? Oh brother. J. Cole, J. Cole being being top three, right? I think those conversations are done. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> I think I think those conversations are over, bro. Respectfully, ain't no ain't no big three. It's just me. It's just big me. Uh, uh, <laughs> What's up, fellas? Yeah. What up, what up, fellas? How you doing, man? How y'all doing? Yo, listen, listen. I just my 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 bad. Uh, my bad. Easy, but listen, man. I just. I think the problem that we're having with this situation is that if J. Cole hasn't wouldn't have been on this decade long spree of singles or feature verses where he's just adamantly telling people that your favorite rapper or your best rapper this year can't mess with me or every up and coming rapper that you like, I'm their favorite rapper. If if that wasn't his whole that because if you be honest with it that's been his whole stick for like the last ten years, if he wouldn't have been on that wave, like this it it, it would have been a slight little okay you said something about your homeboy you know we've all I mean not that we've been in those situations but we've all either been equated with situations where you see your two homeboys going at it and one of them say something and it's like okay. And you see him, he he like apologizes about it because he don't really mean it. If that would have been the case, we would have been like, all right, that's cool, whatever. But you spent the last decade pretty much boasting like, can't nobody see me and I don't care who it is. And the first time you get into it with somebody who we look at that is on par or even in your caliber, you come up with a mid this and then immediately redacted that's crazy to me man that's really crazy like he's in court like he's in court bro yo can i add to can i add to what he said i just want to add to what he said because i I wanted to i was waiting for this episode because i know des will always do the culture part um listen to add to whoever just said whatever they just said to add to what you said taking nothing away from that but also do remember that they Kendrick kept it kept it real, and this is why J. Cole. I'm setting it up to say it. This this is why J. Cole took back what he said about Kendrick's discography, his music, his color, and what, and what he had, all his body of work. Right. Is because right. he know J. Cole in the back of his mind know he ain't gonna say it, but he know and Kendrick know the only reason why y'all ain't see more of me is because me and J. Cole was supposed to drop a mixtape called Black Friday mm-hmm. eight years ago. We were supposed to give the fans that mixtape. Now you running around here yak, yapping about how you the best and nobody can't see you on a feature, but you ducked the smoke with me. You you didn't do the Black Friday mixtape with me. You talking yeah. about fucking being better than Lulu Yachty and, and Benny the Butcher and these guys can rap. But don't make it seem like they on a level with Kendrick on a battle rap type bat, uh, cause that's what you doing. You jumping on track set, yo. Uh, I'm the like dude just said. I would just be reiterating everything he just said. You doing all of that, but you never did that mixtape. And if you heard that one song that they did called Black Friday, J Cole rapped on a Kendrick beat and Kendrick rapped on a J Cole beat. Kendrick and that song, him. I got it still to this day, bro. Kendrick I could carry Oki this fucking song, bro. I love this song. And he, they, J Cole cheated the fans. So when he got up there with Drake and be like, oh, this the big three? Like, fuck the big three, it's big me. 
You trying to make yeah. it seem like you you so not industry and from what it's worth, we know Jake Drake is industry. You know what I'm saying? And Kendrick is somebody who probably represent the culture more, the, the essence of the culture more, opposed to being a pop artist. So instead of J. Cole taking a route to get back to Kendrick, he took the route to get to, 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 to Drake. And now he probably he like you know, saying, Oh, we the big three. Like, nah, I just think that at the, and to make a long story short. Kendrick pulled his card, his Hallmark card, is whatever kind of card you want. He had, he pulled that card. Pulled. Give me that fucking shit, hey. nigga. Give me your fucking chain, nigga. So just, do, just do y'all one, know the mixtape I'm talking about? One, yeah, one thing, real. Yeah. yeah, I know. I know exactly. One thing, real quick. Uh, Church, that mixtape was real. They had songs reported for that joint. Like, <laughs> like they had songs reported for that. They just never, they just never put it out. I think, I think it was just a little bit of uh, timing. The timing was weird, and also, I think Cole, I think Cole knew it was it was going to be a bad look for for that that to come out, you know, because because Kendrick on that Black Friday uh track, Kendrick wrapped circles around him, bro. Kendrick yeah. was rapping like his life was on the line on that joint. I so, do want to yeah. say though, oh no 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 disrespect, Dezo, but I do want to say Dezo, we. I understand right now that we we've got to focus on the the J Cole angle, but I I do want to get back. Well, not get back, but I do want to highlight. We do have to look at Drake now. Like, okay, we saw what you did. You did. You kind of wanted to leave the whole Joe Budden thing alone, and we understand why because Joe Budden wasn't really anybody. We somehow, some way, the 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 society and the generation gave him a whole pass with the push a T thing. I don't think Drake can just hide behind okay, well, J. Cole had a misstep, so let me kind of just let this die down and see what happens. I, I do think that within the next couple of weeks or so, we do need to hear something from Drake before I think we need to start giving him the same type of flame treatment that we give in J. Cole, if we being honest, because so, Drake is another person, because oh, my bad is but Drake Drake is yet another person on some of these features and verses and songs. He's also telling people, hey, you know, I'm a lyrical monster. Don't nobody want to see me in this booth. You know, I'm the best and just at the third and third. And, you know, hey, okay, now you Yo. know, here's Kendrick. Kendrick put it out there on Front Street. Not only did I just come at both of y'all in a verse, not even a song. He did it in a feature verse, by the way. I'm coming at both of y'all and letting y'all know. Y'all been running around here with this. Is I'm number one. I'm number one. I'm number one. All right. Well, show it to me. You number one. So I understand that we we giving it to J Cole right now, but let's not forget that Drake is in this too. Yo, yo, uh, and hold on, J Cole ducking smoke. What you think Drake fit in the do? Yo, 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 yo. Real quick, real easy. Quick, what up, man? Yo, yo, salute, panel. Yo, salute, NSB. You already know what's going oh, on. Oh, yo, easy. That's how easy really look. Oh, shit. <laughs> yo, yo, my nigga, hold on, hold on, because I'm on the move and I'm tapped in right now, my nigga. I'm going to make this quick because I ain't even trying to stay on this shit too long because y'all niggas look like y'all about to cook on some bullshit. Real quick, my nigga, <laughs> I don't know why the fuck y'all niggas giving this shit airtime. I know like it's a big thing, but this shit, ain't sh this shit shouldn't get no type of airtime. Nigga, this is a ten-year-old subject about two niggas you don't really give a fuck about. Come on now, next to let's next topic, my nigga. You got crazy. <laughs> they they, 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 they yo, my nigga, hold on, hold on. That's what, that's what, that's what, that's what, they the culture. That's what are you talking about? Yo, they yeah, the bro, biggest. Bro, they the biggest names. Bro, 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 bro. Hold on, hold on. I don't got much time. I'm not trying to hear all that bullshit. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't trying to hear nothing that bullshit. Real talk, ten-year-old beef. Two niggas you don't really care too much about. You got other niggas dissing. I don't know why we on this topic. I'm a holler at you. All right, yo, <laughs> yo, easy, yo, hold on. Can I, can I just, can I just, can I just want to say this to easy to whatever easy talking about just now, bro. It matters because again, the fans don't forget. Deso clearly told y'all, yo, if we was supposed, they owed us that mixtape. They never gave us that mixtape, bro. So again. That's why J. Cole doing that shit too. Like, yo, I'll, he probably remembered too. Like, yo, fuck, I was supposed to do a mixtape with him. Now I'm saying, yo, he told, he asked where he lived, Fayetteville. He asked Dreamville. He said, yo, just say Kendrick is the best artist out this motherfucker in the whole wide world. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Kendrick, you would 
Kendrick Charles, yeah. coming out. That to me, that's a real apology. If you're going hey, to do crazy. all of that, Kendrick should have came out easy, and they should have performed Black easy, Friday. Yo, bro, yo, bro, yo, bro, I had to, yo, bro, I had to pull up because Breeze, I'm telling you, bro, you be on some bugging out shit, bro. I'm trying to save you, bro. I'm trying to save you, bro. You are talking about a 10 year old mixtape and 10 year old beef. Let it go, bro. You look like you're in high school. Beef but I don't fucking, think uh, it's a, a, a I don't think it's like it's easy, beef, easy. I just think it's been subliminals back and forth where it's been. Who I gives I, a I, fuck I, about I, subs, nigga? Come see no, me, my nigga. That's some I, weak I, shit. I think it's been, but I don't even think it's even really been like really subliminals. I really just think it's been like competitive jabs. Like, okay, you my homeboy. It's, Who gives a fuck like, about the competitive jab? This just, is over it's, 10 it's, years old, okay, bro. But it's just like it's just like the situation where we came up in the era where the conversation was always around like in like, our era, we would have sold it in him. one week. You know one like, week, you never seen, one bumper we clock seen, week. Yo, hold on, week. Can I say this? Hold on. I'm gonna holler at you. It was always like Yo, you know, with Eminem, it was always the back and forth between them two about okay, who really is the best type of deal? But you never really seen them come at each other. That that to me is the type of energy I got from J. Cole and Kendrick. It's like, okay, I know Kendrick is gonna say on his verse he's the best, but I know he still has respect for, for Cole. I know Cole is gonna come out on the song and say he's the best, but I know he's got respect for Kendrick. Hold, I think hold, hold on, hold on. I wanna I wanna I'm trying to get the dead. So hold on. I'm trying to say yeah, but okay, that it's an easy point. But imagine you cool doing whatever you doing, and he running around saying he better than everybody, and he never did the mixtape to, with me, bro. Like, why are you right. saying and you in and, and, and that span of time, 10 years, it's been 10 years since they've been on the song together. Yeah. Like, so what the fuck? You running around talking all that shit, I'll cook you. You better than who? Fuck the big three. It's the big me. <laughs> the that's, energy, that's, the energy. Uh, that's all. The energy alone from Kendrick was better than both of the two fucking different beats that J Cole was on, and that was yeah. the whole point. And I just want to say this to Dezo before, real quick. Dezo, even on the Black Friday song, he said, "Jake Kendrick said, please." He said, "I kill a J Cole B if if they if they let me." Listen to the lyrics. Go to Rap Genius and look at the lyrics. He he said he, he after that Kendrick said please. He was asking please, and those are J Cole <laughs> instrumentals. J Cole is the one who was making the beats. He was the one making the beats. He wanted to rap over J Cole beats. Kendrick said please, and then J Cole never got back to him. So he said fuck the big three. It's the big me. Yo, I'm riding with Kendrick on this, man. I, I, the the thing is, this is, I know Easy said, you know, this is, um, you know, 10 year old beef, but we never got to the bottom of this. You know what I'm saying? It's always just been subliminals. It's always been, it's you know, been they've, always had, they've always had debates about who, who the best is between the three. And, and I'm not going to lie. This is firmly putting, putting J. Cole third. Now, if Drake doesn't respond, if Drake doesn't, you know, isn't about it and he just folds then he'll 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 be knocked down a peg too you know what i'm saying but but this is i i think kendrick kendrick looks great out of this you know what i'm saying kendrick looks un, un Yo, listen it you know is so after this after this that's all can you go to rap genius when in your spare time if you don't want to do it here and i want you to see this because i analyzed this before i came up uh, uh anticipate and i have this moment Kendrick Lamar said, uh, um, no, no, J. Cole said in that Black Friday song, the one song they on together for the most part, right? Just them two. He said, he said, flow hot. He said, flow hot, cold whip. I'm bipolar. That's what J. Cole said in Black Friday. But this is the difference between him and Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar said, my t I, I chose violence. He said, I'm bipolar. I chose violence. So why you, 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 you bipolar, but you chose the, the high flow in the cold whip. No, no, no. I'm bipolar and I chose violence. Yo, Kendrick is a student of the game also. Yeah, he might be teaching yeah. us, but he a student of the game. He tell you he studied. He studied mm -hmm. the best. He studied the greats. He tell you all of this. So yeah. he don't just arrogantly say that, oh, I'm the best. He be letting us know, like, he studied the best before he said he was the best. 
And that's that's why that's why you gotta give Kendrick his flowers too. Go ahead, guys. Go ahead. Oh no 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 no. Um, go ahead. There's a go ahead. I, I, I'm gonna let you finish up. Give me a point. Oh, I was I was just gonna say that's that's why you gotta give Kendrick his flowers because, like for for a while, you know you you hear a lot of talk about you know Kendrick, you know being boring, um Kendrick you know not having as much hit making ability as maybe like which a Drake not or not which, which which is not true which is and, true, and that's but... the that's the thing right i don't find kendrick's music boring at all you know um i think a couple i think a couple of his you know albums are boring but him as a person him as a lyricist his, him as an mc he's he does creative things on tracks you know what i'm saying um and that's that's something that you can't really take away from him. and with this battle I think he's going to submit himself as being the guy, you know, he's going to be the guy of this generation, especially if Drake doesn't do anything. Cole already said, Cole, the worst part about it is Cole said, you know, if you decide to to hit back at me, I got my chin out, man. Just take your best shot. (laughs) That's some of the lamest shit I ever heard, Cole. Oh, hold on. What would the summer look like without a Yeah. Let me say this real quick. Um and salute to the fellas that's on the panel. Salute to the y'all can find Breezy on a big fan Breezy. Uh the Brooklyn Vog. Uh you already know how you give it up for the for the Brooklyn Nets. They had a dope precap uh, yesterday. I was listening to that. That was a dope, that was a dope one. Um right. also um uh, salute to the brother. I don't know um I don't know your name, um, but salute to the um brother um that's supporting. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the point the, the y'all made great points, right? And um breezy made um uh, ex- explained it a little bit even further um what the brother on the bottom left was talking about where like um it looks like j cole is, is all over the place and has and that's the point i was trying to make last week or the last the last show that j cole has been a person where he goes wherever the wind takes him you know what i mean it was I'm a Nas disciple. I'm a Hove disciple. I'm a, I'm a Kanye West disciple. I'm, I'm this. I'm that. I'm in this lane. Oh, but I want to get to be, to get a nice watch. But now, now that I think about it, I don't really want a nice not watch no more. I want to just grow, grow my dreads and wear wear clothes. Cool. And and don't get me wrong. As you grow as a person, obviously your art, your art, your art is gonna grow, right? The type of music that you want to put out is gonna grow. And I'm all for that. But my thing is, is. This was not a violent beef. Everybody knows that. This was the safest, bro. This was um fucking like you know. You remember back in the days when they have the jungle gym set and they put the little shit on the bottom so they make sure the kids don't fall. Yes, bro. Because they just fought. But there's foam on the bottom, bro. There's foam on the bottom. Foam. Okay. So if you fall, you're gonna fall on pillows, bro. So cool, J Cole. You have been demoted, my nigga. You're not mm. even. You are. Not even in the top three anymore, my nigga. Mm. You're out of there. Big Sean, you're up, my guy. Mm. Lady the Butcher, not you're Big up, Sean. My guy. No, 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 no. <laughs> Black Thought, you're oh definitely my up there, my God. guy. Like, like, I mean, Black Black, Black Thought's yeah, already yeah, legend. Yeah, you're, you're, you guys are. So, yeah. But, See, but my thing is, my hold on, real quick, Dazzo. My thing is, is you understanding the sport of rap? You understand? Like, there's there's two sides of hip hop. There's the art. And then there's the sport. The sport has always been there coinciding. So the sport goes from DJs scratching to MCs directing with the DJs to break dancing to graffiti to tagging. These were all sport, meaning competition. So people would try to out tag each other. People would try to out dance each other. People would try to out DJ each other. People would try to out MC each other. Now, Cole, you are a great rapidity rap nigga, but you're not an MC, bro. You you don't move the needle. You don't move the needle. And you've been balling. Here's the thing. Cole, for the past three years, he on features, he has been smoking them. Smoking them. Don't get me wrong. He's been smoking them. But when you actually come into the situation where it's your chance to shine, this is your moment, my nigga. You wanted it? Here's the moment that you asked for. And then you said, it's nothing right with your spirit. Now, here's the thing about it. Just, I think what also happened was that, like you said, Dezo, looking for those angles to diss him, it, it turns into false like narratives. You you said that his, his albums are boring. You said that the last one was trapped, but then you don't believe it. 
Because the he didn't thing believe about it nothing. Is, he didn't believe nothing. He didn't believe anything that you said. Because you can't make an album called For Your Eyes Only and then say to Pimp a Butterfly was born. Oh my God. It, it doesn't make any type of sense. <laughs> you, what makes it worse? You, after the whole to Pimp a Butterfly, you then go Dreamville crazy and sign all the type of niggas that identify with that album. You have Ari Lennox. You made a whole song called Shea Butter Baby, my nigga. What lane are you in, my nigga? You signed J.I.D., who is literally baby Kendrick Lamar. Like, what, He's baby what, what's happening right now? He's baby Ken. <laughs> so, 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 so what is going on? You was, yeah, listen, J. Cole, you was better off. What you should have done was, was on that second beat flip, you tap J.I.D., just in case if you felt bad, and you let him take over. And see if he can, <laughs> if you could propel your man, because you, you clearly don't got the heart for it. Clearly you, you can't, you can't tag in your understudy. Yo, bro. hold on, hold on, no, no, no. You, hold bro. on, can Tag-y. I ask you? Can I hear can I hear Dezo in, in context talk about uh what Kendrick did to J. Cole? How does the relationship between J.I.D. and J. Cole ha- what what happens? I want to hear how y'all feel about that because y'all make a good point about him being like baby Kendrick, and I like J.I.D. But when you think of styles, you gotta give it to Kendrick, like seriously, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Were so so. How does that relationship change? Or is it the same uh, with JID and J Cole? Or do you think that uh, J Cole should ask JID to rap at Kendrick? Should he send JID at Kendrick? See, see, nah, nah. First, nah. first thing, first thing I, I think about is I I don't think I think J um JID is cut from from the same kind of cloth that Kendrick's cut from. So I don't think. I, don't, I think loyalty is a big thing for him. So I don't think he'll look at J. Cole and be like, nah, we're not cool no more. Because because at the end of the day, J. Cole, you know, gave him his shine, gave him his, you know, spotlight, gave him a platform so that he could do, you know, what he needs to do. And I think so J. Cole... Well, no, J- Jez, my, Dezo, my question is like, d- like, does J. Cole tell all the Dreamville, like, yo, don't rap at Kendrick. I said it's peace. I don't want nobody oh, to yeah. say nothing. Nah, 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 he's oh, dude, uh, JID, like, nah, I ain't letting that shit slide. Oh, I got something <laughs> to say. If, if I'm, if I breeze, so just to answer real quick, breezy, J Cole, <laughs> I think both things are gonna happen. I think J Cole would be like, yo, guys, I know there's gonna be a lot of people that's gonna tempt y'all to jump into the mix and throw little subs and all that. And I think he's, I think he's telling them, yo, don't jump into it. But if I'm JID, mm. I jump out the window. <laughs> I jump out the window. I jump out the window and I said, yo, yo, listen, Jake, you know, J. Cole, blah, blah, blah. But listen, I'll take a shot at you. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. And cool. If you get smoked in that process or if Kendrick doesn't even um, answer to you, I still think that's a feather in J.I.D.'s cap. Because mm. why not? You don't, you don't have nothing to lose. If you're J.I.D., think about it. You got mm. this already momentum going toward the situation and you yeah, got nothing to lose. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just, it's- it's just rapping. Like at that point, it just it, it, it will literally come down to okay. We like context said, we know it's not gonna get violent. We know it's not this is not a whole biggie Tupac situation. Like we understand it's not that. This is simply gonna come down to okay. Who who who's the who's the rapper rapper? Like who's the rapper rapper? Like at the end of this, when it's all said and done, when the when the smoke clears. There will be no need for us to continue having these debates about, oh, who's number one, this, that, and the third, and the third. It's a rapper's rapper battle. And J. Cole, he, he bowed out. And I just can't rock with that after what you've done for the last decade, bro. That's right. been your, that, that's been your, that, that has literally been J. Cole's M.O. for any and everything he's done for the last decade. From the whole um, K.O.D. album, which it which was uh which was okay you guys don't think i can rap like these mumble rappers or come up with these songs that these guys who ain't on my level lyrically okay well watch what i do with this and he did that like hey. bro that has that has been your stick since born center that's been this and, the, and, born the, and the thing about the hold on the thing about that is it's kind of crazy how j cole's only real like rap battle that he's been in was with lil pump bro he was in a rap battle with Lil Pump. Mm. Fuck out my face. That's I don't even that on rap battle. I just think he got tired of all the mumble rappers and he just decided to like 
but, but that, but that was the main guy that was that was going yeah, at uh, yeah that it was i just oh um, man i don't i don't i don't yo hold on I hold don't on understand what happened in this situation dog it, it was just rap like it's literally just rap it's i don't understand bro it was church, just rap. church got you, church got all the hot takes tonight man church got all the hot takes jid better than cole and kendrick that's I don't cool. know about I don't know about yeah, that. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say I that, think, my guy. I, I think he yes. raps better. He raps better on a technical level, maybe than Cole. Mm -hmm. But Cole got. I think Cole has some beat on subject matter as a whole. You know what I'm saying? I think Cole mm -hmm. Cole's subject matter, the things that he talks about, hits hits deeper in the soul. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, I do. I do. I, I agree. I, I feel like again, shout the context. The context matters. You know what I'm saying? Um, you gotta realize uh, this is so why, move, fellas, man. I'm out, man. I gotta get back to work, man. All right, appreciate you, man. Appreciate you pulling up. Y'all fellas, be good, man. And just yeah, always remember, Tim Duncan top five. Up, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, Tim Duncan top five, man. Oh, right, 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 right. Oh, that's Tim Duncan top five. All right, man, man, man. Say yeah. less, say less. Let's yeah. Go. Um, shout, shout to dude, man. That was that was good conversation, man. Uh, but yeah, nah, you know, just to kind of be literal, you know. I just think that the fans are so loyal. We go through anything that happens with the culture in hip hop. You know, some people disagree. There's people who disagree with drill music, but people, the fans are still loyal to it. You know what I mean? And I just feel like what hurts us the most as fans is the fact that this is supposed to be the essence of hip hop. And this shit reminded me of beatboxing, ciphers on a corner. You, right, you robbing right. us of that. Don't right. rob us of that, J. Cole. And if you right. feel like you don't want to do nothing about it, then don't get in the way of J.I.D. Let him go. Right. Like, let right. him go, bro. Like, fuck right. it. You say, I'm going to sit this one out. Let your... You say, you ever heard that shit? Yo, what's the... Uh, Cameron said that shit and paid in full. He said, what, what, what's the, if you a general, you're supposed to use your soldiers. If that's what it is, you talking that's like a you a big boss. A you acting like that's you a, a big fact. boss or some shit like that, J. Cole, then be the boss. And you say, yo, J.I.D., you know what? I need help with this, man. I need help with Kendrick Lamar, man. You see what he did? He called this shit a bazooka. He said, yo, you Listen, see the bazooka they dropped on me? Yo, J.I.D., I think J.I.D. what he said. Yo, that's what the crazy part is. He said, yo, he called. Yo, listen. All parts of that fucking apology fold up i don't know yo listen that folding was origami level folding my nigga origami chup chup tetris everything was fitting all together because it's in insane uh, that you said yo i got a bazooka dropped on me then it wasn't standing right with my spirit i didn't believe anything i was saying and anything that i was saying before half of that shit was i mean all of that shit was all lies i really think he's amazing and people don't understand like but now all of this comes off as false bravado, all false bravado. You feel what I'm saying? Because you can't say that you're Muhammad Ali on one mm. song. And then when we know how you really feel, you said that you are lucky enough to be chasing them. You oh said God. you're chasing them. I, I, I hate Nobody humility, else bro. said that they're chasing that humility. That, that humility shit after, after, like you big up yourself and then you humble yourself. In this, in the span and, of two and days, you want props for humbling <laughs> yourself? No, that's no, no. That's why, and that's what gets me tight because people are saying, "Oh my God, you gotta see what he's doing." Blah, 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 he's more like cool, cool. Listen, in real life, that's amazing. Being humble is amazing, cool. But listen, this nigga has been Kendrick Lamar told you in the heart four. He said, "Yo, by April seventh, I don't want to hear none of that dumb shit." Yo, I was just joking, bro. <laughs> I would do no, no, no. Get your shit together. And what happened, y'all? Yo, I don't know if this nigga, yo, this nigga, Kendrick, gotta be God bodied. Cause on literally <laughs> April 7th, we saw somebody fold and said, I was just joking, bro. What? Yo, uh, yo give me a fucking chain, J. Cole. Yo, J. Cole, give me dreads. <laughs> give me all that shit, nigga. All that shit. Nigga. The, the crazy, the crazy, crazy, the crazy thing about it. Yeah, is, um, what it is, uh... The crazy thing about it is, like, I understand, like, you know, you wanted to take the high road, but just don't say nothing in the first place, bro. Because if you were gonna say something and then take it back, that's the worst thing to do. Right. Mm -hmm. Because 
Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick he Lamar was sitting still, down, right? On the Kendrick stage, Lamar, he was sitting down. Kendrick Lamar, yeah, he was sitting down on stage. Like, he brought a whole chair out. But Kendrick uh, Lamar's this has been out uh, maybe three, four weeks now. Right. Hasn't said nothing, bro. Kendrick hasn't issued an apology. He hasn't said, you know what? I was wilding on that. That's my mm-hmm. bad. Because mm-hmm. Kendrick ain't built like you. <laughs> he asked on the, the song title is called Like That. Are you? Mm. And, and Future was asking, are you like that? Future's asking, are you like are that? Are you like that? And nobody's like that. Nobody's like that. Cole, 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 Cole said, I am like that. But at the same time, I'm not like that at all. Mm. <laughs> I'm, not. I'm not. Yo, so, yo, Church I said this, and, and here's my thing. I agree with the church. Church, you preaching. I'm going to say this with the J. Cole thing, in my opinion. As great as, and I'm going to repeat this. And oh. Clip this, I don't know what's going to happen. Clip this. I don't care. Who gives a fuck? Cole has never been <laughs> yeah. up to the level. You, 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 you know, he crazy. probably might hype him up, right? And, yeah, yeah. Pause, pause, pause. Pause that pipe him up. Crazy. No <laughs> yeah. But my thing is, and, and, and um, pipe is like kind of like hype niggas up. Yeah, pause. But pause. Whatever. Nah, no nah. But my thing is, is <laughs> J. Cole, everybody, uh, like, for every for people to be fooled by this great three year run and to put him on top of Cole and Kendrick was ludicrous. I think that's what it was too. I think a lot of people jumped out the window and they were saying, "Oh yeah, Cole's the best rapper now." Blah blah blah. I've heard Royce the Five Nine say it. I've heard Buster say it. I've heard um, a couple of rappers um, that's uh, that's kind of like the, the the older statesmen say how much they've been paying attention to J Cole's ascendance. And to be fair, I'm gonna say this. J. Cole has improved the most out of all the three from where he was at in the beginning to where he's at now in terms of being a rapper, being an artist. He's definitely grown the most, right? But that's not saying much. I'm gonna be honest with you because these guys are, are were already up here and you, you was climbing, 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 and they're still ascending. That's the thing about Drake. To, 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 to be honest with you, Drake has plateaued, but Drake, I don't think Drake has ascent is has any more room for ascension. He's just he's he's at the level he's just gonna plateau and then decline. Um and Kendrick I, Kendrick is so is so weird because he's he, he's cut from different cloths. So he got the battle form of him, he got the sugar free version of him, he got the hove, he got the Nas version, and then he has the Orange Three Thousand version where you don't see him for five years. You feel what I'm saying? Like that's the thing about what makes Cole's um artistry a little bit different because he can come back pop up. Put on a great performance, give you a good body of work, regardless if you guys find it boring or not. He's gonna give you a good body of work as far as music. You feel what I'm saying? He's gonna give you a good body of work of music. For me, J. Cole has ascended, but to me, I, I feel like his body of works are hit and miss. Four Soul Drives, amazing. Um, KOD, in my opinion, dope. Born Center, eh. You feel what I'm saying? Like it, it was cool. Um, what was the other one? The off season. Off season. Off season is great. That's a. You like the off season? I, I, I like the off season, bro. I the think off the season off season is, is boo boo. He was rapping, juice. rapping, bro. He was rapping, rapping. But that's my thing, though, Dezo. I already know he can rapidly rap. I know that. I know that. What you, what you want from him then? What 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 was you what was you expecting my from that project? Is, it, my thing is is I, this this is what I wanted from him. Low key, this is what I wanted from him. I think God. I think. I think had he done this, I would have went back to the offseason and said, yo, did I miss something? I think had he put his foot and tried to put his foot and try to take off Kendrick's head off, you know how much that would have boosted up the thing? Because then now people are going to have to go back and say, yo, damn, was there something in Cole's discography that I'm missing? Is there something in you? Then you're going to go back to the opposite and, and go back. Now when you do that, people don't even, I, yo, bro, I don't even want to listen. I don't want to hear no J. Cole songs. I'm good for the next year, bro. If somebody plays I... Jay Colson, I'm gonna snuff you. I swear everything I like. Not... So hold Jay on, Cole hold on. Like, watch what happened. I'm popping the bottle over your head. I'm popping the bottle over you, bro. How could he I'm make this right? Could, you, could could they still do the mixtape now and make this right? Could Jay Cole sing Kendrick Beats and say, ever yo. Want it. I don't ever want to hear Cole. <laughs> I don't. Oh, man. You know how bad that would piss me off if they came <laughs> out and announced, hey, we got a joint collab album coming. Me, me, 
me and Kendra guys. <laughs> hip hop's cool. Hip hop's cool. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah. Hip hop's good. Hip hop's. If that, that happens, shit the fuck out of here. Man. If that happens, hip hop is officially dead. And yeah, on we, top of that, done with. he let Nas down a third time, bro. Third I'm gonna go. Bro. I'm gonna go review techno, man. <laughs> fuck out of here, right, 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 bro. Right, 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 right. I'm, I'm doing gonna, techno, I'm gonna man. With you. And Drake, yo, listen, Aubrey, we're not we're not off your bumpy yet. Pause, no freaky. We're not off your helmet yet, my guy. Yo, if you don't come out and play, my nigga, if you don't, if you duck, if you, I swear so, to God, if you just come out on the song and you hit us with bum ass subliminal, yo, Drake, yo, Aubrey, this is not subliminals. You can't go to Jigga. Yo, man. hold on, let me I'm ask cool you this: Do you think Drake, Drake would to go to Jigga man, man? I'm cooler than you. You I can't think- do that. You can't do you do think that. Drake did do that? No, no, no. See, see, hold on. Here's here's the thing. Context. He could definitely do that. He can't. Drake has always been bigger than than Kendrick. He can definitely he little bro. It won't work. It won't he, work. He can little bro. He can little bro. Little bro him. He can little bro. It won't work. It won't work. You don't got the hits like I do. You don't got the album sales. You what? ain't as versatile I, as a, me. Did you just hit me? Did you I can go to any genre? Stuff? I can go to no, any genre no, no, and make a no, hit. No, chat, chat. Um, can, this is the video. context. I can go to any genre and make a Dezo. hit, bro. He can look, bro. Dezo, 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 Dezo. What's you up? just we're talking about hip hop, and you just told me fucking album sales, bro. What the fuck? That's like oh, we talking oh, about hoops, bro. and then you hit me with a fucking advanced but, that like work. That's I, the, I don't give a fuck about album sales. I but, don't. But, but that's don't. the only. That's the only. Like music is subjective. That's the only objective, um, way to to see an artist's success. You know what I'm saying? No, you can't judge an artist's success by by nah. anything else. How, what nah. else can you judge artists? Nah. Hold, hold on. on. I just want to say Grammys. I, how many Grammys they won, bro? Hold that's hold subjective on. as fuck. Hold on. Hold on. I just want to say, Kendrick. This is why Kendrick is so dangerous. He did not diss J. Cole's wife, his mother, his child. He didn't need no secret closet dirt. He didn't need yeah. no dark shit that nobody never heard. And now I'm revealing it. I'm 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 airing your dirty laundry. None of that shit. You mm-hmm. said you was the best. Fuck the big three. It's the big me. So mm-hmm. I'm saying that's appropriate far as the as far as an angle to attack as an artist. So again, Kendrick knew how to attack. Yeah. It's not that he just attacked. You know, dudes be doing different shit, saying mad different shit, uh, 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 leaking. You hear all the rumors behind the name of this one, that, and, and that one, and this one, and that happened, and all of this extra shit. Kendrick can't do none of that. That was a clean, that was clean, bro. That was clean. So I'm um, saying that to say, can Drake do that? Or do he, if he need album sales to beat Kendrick, he cannot beat Kendrick. That's what I'm saying to you, Dezo. Yeah. But, hey, hold on, so, hold on. Real quick, Dezo. Real quick, Dezo. Okay. Uh, before, you, before you respond, um, um, you, <laughs> easy say, y'all. I'm disappointed. Disappointment is crazy. <laughs> disappointment is crazy. Uh, just, just, like, just, like, just like the culture is disappointed in J. Cole, you heard? Listen, my thing is, all I'm saying is, I, I, to be fair, I'm going to say this. I understand what Easy's talking about, and I think we are just disappointed at the fact that Jake that uh that fold world ended up taking back and redacted everything that he said. That's the only thing I think. I don't think that we are that mad that he didn't engage with Kendrick. Okay, cool. You don't want to engage with Kendrick? Cool. Like whatever's in your spirit, you're not you feel like you're not cut like that. Cool. What we what we will say though is Aubrey, you've been playing this big dog shit. You've been playing this big dog shit. And we need to see when another wolf comes into the arena. We need to see if you're still the big dog. Cool. Meat Mill challenged you. You got to cool, cool, pack them up. Sent them right to Diddy. Right? Cool. Got them right up out of there. Cool. Now you're going against another. You're going against a monster. We got to see what you can do. That's all I'm saying. And Aubrey, if you don't come outside for K dot and you try to stay in this little. I'm gonna sub, 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 sub. Yo, you're cooked too, nigga. We're out to Afro beats. Nigga. I don't think he's cooked. I'm listening he... to Afro beats for the rest of my life, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he. I don't bro. think he's Afro cooked beats. if he like doesn't. Um, if he doesn't direct his shots at Kendrick, I think he can. Because th- the thing is, Kendrick didn't say his name either. You know what I'm saying? So I think. I think unless they they fully. 
they fully engage, then I think. Denzel, 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 Denzel. What's up? Okay, so so what? He didn't say his name. So what? What the fuck? Yo, yo, yo. We knew who. Look at what your man Denzel is doing, son. We we knew we knew who he was talking about, but we'll also know we'll also know who Drake's talking about if if he's up. Right. Of course, of course. We both know. So no, no. But my thing is okay. Okay. Fair point. Fair point. But my thing is it it can't be. A Drake subliminal and a, and a Kendrick Lamar subliminal, totally two different. Uh, this nigga Drake is on the level of Jay Z subliminals. We have yeah. no idea what's going he really on. Really hides that shit. You have to. <laughs> yo, you, that nigga bro, Drake will, Drake will Drake will say bro. something. Drake will say something about like Kendrick's long lost like twin that he never knew about. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, like that's you that's the level. Really, you got to be really invested into the timeline to understand the subliminal that's getting thrown, right? All right, so, so that's la- why- yeah, yeah. last thing, last thing about this, right? Um, we'll 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 say so for Drake. Like, not only does he have to respond to Kendrick, but he also has to respond to to you know, um, Future. He has to come at Future for sure. He has to respond to Metro. He has to go at the weekend. Just dissed him on this new album that just dropped last night. Um. You can't sing diss me, bro. You can't see ASAP Rocky me, just dissed him on this. Uh, I heard that. Yeah, I heard album. that one. I heard that one. I heard that one. But he a fashion nigga. He's so got at least have, like, he's got at whatever. least five five people that he has to include in, into this diss track, bro. Dezo, 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 respectfully. No, no, no. Dezo, res- respectfully, five. respectfully, respectfully, respectfully. Though ASAP Rocky and the weekend, yeah, I just butt hurt Drake. I took your beat. <laughs> respectfully. <laughs> First of all, weekend you can't sing, you can't sing rap. You can't you can't sing battle. I'm, I'm, yeah, we're not nah, doing sing, sing not battle is crazy, versus, bro. No, 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 we're not doing. Get get that dumb shit out of here, Abel. Salute to the weekend too. Great music, but get that dumb shit out of here. And respectfully, except Rocky, son, you right now you're you're Rihanna's wife, my nigga. Just hold it down, be the baby father, raise your kids. That whole and don't get well, me wrong, Rocky, Rocky. Why, why, what, what happened? To, what happened to ASAP? Why are no, 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 he jumped out the he jumped out the window and responded. They've been going back and forth. You know what I mean? Yeah. But oh, he, responded Rocky, to who? he responded to Drake. Uh, to Drake. Uh, ASAP on the on the, the album last night said that I hit it first. You know, I'm 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 the I'm the guy now. Like yo yo, latest shit came and went. Like all that was directed at Drake. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so. Man. Yeah, I Which mean, is kind of hilarious. Mama. You know, they probably think he weak right now because he's saying that back to Kendrick. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, no, they, like they, you said, they, it's they, about strategy. You know what I mean? He, he just, I don't know what that is. 21 is crazy. 20 verse at this point, Breezy. The two, and that, and that goes to the point that Dezo was making. Like, right now, it looks like Drake is Thanos. <laughs> Drake mm-hmm. is Thanos because he got 20 <laughs> niggas trying to jump him. <laughs> that shit is right. insane. And... Kendrick Lamar yes. looks like the boogeyman that nobody like. They know that he's there, but they don't want to go into that dark corner because he's just there lurking, bro. He's lurking like a fucking shadow, bro. It's crazy. And, and to be honest, to be honest, that diss by ASAP was so weak that yeah. I don't even I don't even mind if Drake don't respond to that because yeah. to say that you hit like ASAP is basically saying like he hit um Drake's baby mom's first. My nigga, my nigga, the whole industry ran through Rihanna. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, ASAP? ASAP, we being for real. Respectfully, 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 respectfully. respectfully. Rihanna, I love you. If you if you watching this, I ain't got no bad blood. You're out of pocket. You're out of pocket. (laughs) Yo, Rihanna can be my ass. (laughs) This out of pocket. But to be fair, but you see, hold on, but you see the difference in Kendrick. This got nothing to do with no no woman. Right, that's the thing about it. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Like, and that's what they're keeping it. That's the point, Reezy. Keeping it rap. Let, let's keep it rap. Like, let's keeping it. That's really exactly. All the and that's the thing, though. Dezo, like, that's what I'm saying. The thing with Aubrey, you have the opportunity where with Kendrick, you don't gotta do that. Like, you, I can really just go heavy bars. You know what I'm saying? Like, be creative with it. Be dope with it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't need to be this vitriol thing. And like you said. The, the album sales and stuff like that. We're taking all that shit away, bro. Popularity. Um, create um 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 who makes the most creative albums, who make the album sales cool. Fuck all that, bro. When it comes to when we directing towards each other, we are we know that we co- we combat it. Who's the who's the best at that? 
You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I think that's what um would propel this conversation for this generation. Because we don't mm -hmm. really have a cap for what this generation represents. They've been here. They've been dominating. Well, they've been in the running for domination for, See, for about 15 years, right? So this is what, about I, what I will say, before. right, to that point, um, so so Drake's Drake's the one that's battle tested out of the three, like he's been in the most fights, and I think I think he'll learn from his last fight with Pusha T, right? Because the thing is, me personally, I don't know how y'all feel, but me personally, I think Duffy Freestyle was a better, was a more, you know, surgical disc than than um Story of Adidon. but I think the Story of Adidon, like. Push T got the shock factor in it. You know what I'm saying? He revealed something that we didn't know about Drake. Fair point. And I think that's what gave him the W. Um, but, but so to be fair, me, if, even he said, oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. No, no, I was to say, to be fair, to add on to that, um, Jake, I mean, um, Drake did say in that barbershop video that Pusha T, he felt that Pusha T went too far. It was too Please, vitriol. Man. Look, 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 look. That's Kendrick. That's Leaf is Kendrick, bro. <laughs> Leaf is Kendrick, like a like a fucking Leaf is Kendrick. Leaf is Kendrick. In the night, coming out of the shadow. Look, 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 look. Ready to pounce and attack. That's what Kendrick is on right now. Yeah, like that. Go ahead, Leaf. Leaf, man, give us your, give us your thoughts so we can wrap up the show, man. All right. Well, real quick. Um, J Cole folded. Um. So now Aubrey has no choice but to say something. He has no choice but to do something. Now, now in terms of now, you spoke a little bit on um the the push a T thing, bro. That shit got dead about Jay Prince. A lot of people don't know that. That shit got dead right. about Jay Prince. Jay Prince right. had dead of that because once uh, uh once the uh song about his son came out, bro, like that was it. We ain't gonna talk. I ain't gonna talk about your wife. You ain't gonna talk about my son. You ain't, you ain't talking about his mother. This, that, and the third. That's how Jay Prince saw it. So he dead. It. In this particular case, Aubrey has no choice but to save, but but to save another light skin nigga, bro. He has no, he has no choice bro. because this 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 this. this, 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 this Listen, I listen as far as that go, as far as the, the issue with J. Cole goes, this is that is by far one of the most saddest uh, uh, uh sites in the history of our genre, in the history of this culture, bro. You, you come on, bro. I listen, and to all due respect to every to all 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 due respect to everybody at Dreamville, man. I hope y'all got half of y'all money back, man, for watching that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I really, I really do, bro. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope the money that you paid to go see that, to go see that sucker MC type shit done on stage. I hope, I hope, I hope that y'all can sleep well at night, bro, knowing that y'all paid top dollar to see a nigga fold, to see a nigga that you believe in fold right before your eyes on stage, bro. I should have came here early and said this shit because I was up, man, but I, I didn't even notice y'all bringing people up. Like, this shit is downright disgusting, bro. Leaf, I love, I love battle rap, right? What J. Cole did was essentially he spit his first round and then was like, all and right, then I, I'm going to I'm a, I'm a not, I, I, I forfeit the rest of my rounds. You know what I'm saying? Damn. That's some shit that's never been done before. <laughs> that's some shit that's never been and, done. And, 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 I, and, and one more thing before, before we wrap up. Um, I told Breeze that Aubrey doesn't really have anything to do with this, bro. Like at the beginning, I lied. I, I, I apparently I lied because I didn't know this light skinned nigga was gonna fold like he did. We didn't know that he was gonna cop a plea like he did. And when he did that, he had, everybody had me thinking that Kendrick Bars was like world beaters. I'm like, what? No, but when I said, hold on, do you think Drake got this J Cole and his next like track like? Do he if I'm, if I'm Drake, I'm dissing J Cole too, cause he he cleared he cleared the song for that album. Mm. That, that 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 song doesn't get put on that album last night. Exactly. If J Cole doesn't clear it, mm. exactly. Okay. I'm, I'm, dissing, I'm, I'm dissing J Cole too. I'm I'm, I'm you know what I'm with, I'm with Dezo. I'm with Dezo on that. I'm dissing him, and I'm dissing the same nigga I've been dissing for the last twelve years, bro. And now he just now coming out. And saying something about it after all these years, man, with the verse that he had on Future, bro. He waited to get on a Future album to finally speak up because he knew the shit was going to get some traction because it's a Future album. Mm. 
that's basically what it was. You can't you can't be mad at being tactical because that's the thing about the this, this whole industry is based off being tactical and finding the right time to capitalize on the moment. A lot of people saying that oh they didn't like oh he had to use thing. So what? <laughs> so what? Like it's a good move. Can't go wrong with that. And it's gonna be one of those songs that not only is a diss song but a, a just a regular song that's gonna be played like a back to back. You dig what I'm yeah. saying? Like it's gonna it's gonna get bumped in the strip club, in the regular club, and then on top of what makes it worse is a dead song. It's amazing. You got the trifecta right there. The 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 reason the reason why I'm tied at it because I didn't think Kend I thought Kendrick had enough height to use something at his own merit. That's that's what I that's what I assume. But the but the fact that even though even though he had the dispute with TDE, bro, like and them niggas over there, bro, and that labels or whatever. I still thought he had uh, he had his own merit to live off, bro. Like he really didn't drop a a, a trash trash album. There, there's not a like damn was probably his worst album, and that was like okay. That's fire. Yeah. So 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 the so the reality is is that the fact that Kendrick had to do that to 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 substantiate getting back at the nigga that has been basically throwing jabs at him for the last twelve years. And you finally waited all the way to a future song to do it, bro. When you had your own marriage to stand on since 2013, bro. I thought that was kind of suckerish, bro. Like, and plus, I've been said when it comes to all three of these niggas, when it comes to the battle aspect, all three of these niggas is mid to me, bro. And I'm standing on that. But I, I don't give I don't give shit what none of them say. You think you think Drake, as far as a battler, is mid? He's as far as far yes, yes. He is he's, yes. He's, mid, he's, mid, he's mid to me he's mid to me because the mm -hmm. thing is he the, the, like the thing is he's 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 kind of a pick and choose gangster bro like i mean and, 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 so, <laughs> and, and, and so and so is kendrick bro and i think for both of them bro like this, nah. has, been brewing, this has been brewing for 12 years I, and, 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 Bre and breezy is going to give me the 10 niggas that he dissed on that did that he called out on one song and only two of them responded back and he didn't respond back to them after the fact, so so like mm -hmm. he, that's what he gonna bring up. So 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 the, the the reality is, bro. Like you got two chicken wing ass niggas, bro. Like they kind of living off of the kind of living off of their past and living off of what they name and whatever. All right, go ahead, get y'all get y'all little rabbit hat shit going, bro. So we can get this shit over with. Let's see who this who the worst, and let's see who let's see who this is the most fire out of the two, because the this is that fire out of the two ain't gonna rank on no hierarchy on all time. This is to me, so. It just don't matter. That's what I'm saying. I, I, I'm cut from the cloth of the Beanie Steagles, the Jada Kisses, like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. the Easy E's, like, come mm -hmm. on, like, this, this, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna go, listen, the Nas's, the mm -hmm. Kumo D's, like, that's mm -hmm. my thing. My thing is, uh, LL Cool J Cannabis, mm -hmm. like, oh, there's a lot mm -hmm. of things that you, 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 listen, that a lot of people that's come from, even the T.I. Ludacris, like, a lot of people don't understand, like, we Kendrick have always, rap all had, in them. I don't know what we, we've about. always had people that can um um push the forward the fo the culture forward because of the sport that's behind the competition that's behind it so mm. this is what that that's the only thing that's kind of disappointing i agree with some points that leaf is making but i think you i can't fault him for a marketing strategy that worked you feel what i'm saying leaf like it's 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 like putting a megaphone because you already like you said you already got the juice cool but my thing is here's my thing um um leaf if he did that mm. on another rapidy rap song then i would have been with you you, you mm. understand what I'm saying? But yeah. this is not a rapidly rap. This is Future and Metro Boomin. This was like a vibe song. This was like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, this is like right. fuck the club up song. And for you to yeah. jump on that and body it, that was, that's like a back, to me, that's, that feels like a back to back in that aspect. You feel what I'm saying? But I got a dip, mm. fellas. I okay. uh, can't stay. Um, appreciate y'all for have uh for, for jumping on. You know, it's always Brooklyn Love. My guy Leaf, uh -huh. y'all could definitely, definitely follow Leaf on his or drop. Tell them where they, they can follow you. At. It's uh, uh Playback TV uh for um four slash Leaf forty seven eighty eight YouTube Leaf for at Leaf forty seven eighty eight and on Twitter at Leaf forty seven eight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start the videos on uh, Playback TV. Um, this uh um now that the season is over, now that we are officially in shitter. Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's get to, uh, all of these eighties, nineties, two thousands and two thousand and tens. And, hey, and uh, y'all gotta, so, y'all gotta make a splash in the off season, man, or do something, man. Cause... Well, well, I, I, the, 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 here's the thing. We need a direction that that's the reality yeah. that me and me and breezy been talking about this, man. For, I for think months. they need to hear the song I did too. Like they should have that song in the locker room. Like, yo, before we play this game, 
we, we got to listen to this song. Now I'm saying, yeah. I hope yes. that that's the best so I could do. I'm just a fan, wait, man. I'm, I'm only yeah, a fan. Yeah, 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 but because it got a dope, um, dope, dope. Yeah, him, 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 and, um, him and my man, this is yeah. JTV, man. Follow this is JTV on YouTube, Spotify, and on uh, Apple, uh, um, Apple Music, but um. Definitely for, for that. But as far as the culture goes, bro, the culture is the fan base. That's the mm-hmm. coach. Coach is me, Breeze, and everybody that show up to our next, fa- next fan base's channels, bro, that live here. That's that's the culture. The, fr- the culture is the BK block. That's the culture. Like, mm-hmm. the, the, we, need a, we need a formula. We need a system, and we need a, a, a players to run the system and run the formula, and we need an identity. That's what we need. We need a strong identity. We, we don't need – listen, the star chase – don't say you want to chase after stars when you done got rid of three of them and two trade deadlines. So don't, don't so don't say you want to chase after stars because you're not gonna find anything better than Ke- Kevin Durant, James Harden, and uh what's in uh, uh and Kyrie Irving in free agency ever again. You don't 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 say that. Man. Don't say that. So so the best thing to do is go find players with that have elite unique advantages and go build a formula and build a system and build an identity. That's the thing about it. The team on the other side of the Dr. and Bridge, they got an identity now. They got their yeah. toughness and shit. The way that we say what we want to say about them, they got an identity. They beat the mud off the off the off the off the off the off the bum ass keys last night. Belt to ass. Belt to they, ass. They, they, whipped, they whipped them finally for the first time. Hey, OG, OG and Anobi was in his bag. <laughs> OG was in his bag. So was that little itty bitty ass nigga, bro. That looked like his person, bag. Yeah. So, 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 so the reality is, is that He's we a need to thumb, build, yo. He's a brolic thumb. <laughs> listen, and so, and so we need to build a formula, a system that is conducive to winning, a formula that's conducive to winning, and an identity that's strong enough that people can say when they come here, you got to worry about him, 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 and him. Mm. Yeah, I just want to say, I hope the Brooklyn Nets beat the Knicks tonight. I'm not trying to jack that you know that. Oh, this and that and what they doing. Fuck that. That's if it. we could get them right. from third place to fourth place, yeah. that's what yeah. I'm trying to make happen. Yeah. I, I, I could do nothing more but celebrate us beating so the Knicks in the garden. Is this a, uh, is music this? to my ears. I don't so know heavy. if that so actually heavy. happens, right. but that's what I want to happen. You know what? I, 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 I was I was gonna talk heavy too, but like the thing is, as y'all know, I do, I call Nets games, but I do not call any time the Nets uh, are playing the team on the other side because I'm not giving them no PT at all. I they just listen. They, they listen that that them colors stink like shit, and they fan base smell even worse. So so I'm not <laughs> so I'm not I'm not giving them no PT, bro. I said a couple of good things about them here and there, but that's about it. And listen, breezy breezy likes the breezy goes back and forth. With uh James Harden Jr. bro once a week, bro, like on on his on the on a page called KVN who run the city, bro. And he's laughing and I tell him laugh now. The hashtag is laugh now, cry later. Because they're gonna be crying real soon, bro. Like and, and while we are in the shitter, there's no there's no Larry O'Brien trophies being brought to the city. That's so that's a fact. Right, <laughs> we going in there, we're going to get vegetables, fruits, had them. Making smoothies for us. The nasty ass orange oh, grapefruits. Yeah, that's, that's what we, it is. Disgusting. <laughs> this, this is gross. That's All what right, it is, man. We, uh, I'm gonna see y'all later. Man. I'm gonna yeah, yeah. be on. I might be on. I might call the game tonight. I might give the Knicks some damn PT. Fuck it, man. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> Listen, I'm all at y'all. Uh, drop, 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 yeah, I'm all. Right. Matter of fact, before I leave, I'm gonna drop some of the joints. Yeah, it's uh, it's no snooze. This show is is really dope. Yeah, appreciate you, free, uh, Breezy. Appreciate you, man. Um, appreciate you, leave. Appreciate your text. Uh, yeah. We gon We will see y'all Monday. Today's Friday, right? Mm-hmm. We will see y'all. I dropped. I dropped it in the main chat, bro. I dropped it. Hey, in that's the that's the playback right there. If y'all, yeah, if y'all Breezy, are watching, uh, just, yeah, drop your drop your social so that people can follow you on the yeah. playback. Um, All right. So yeah, um, we definitely go. I mean, uh, probably we might. I don't know. Um, what's the schedule look like? Uh, we're probably gonna try to see if we can get a graveyard shift Saturday. Um, if anybody mm-hmm. felt like we was we was talking on the two sides of our mouths, yeah, disagree. Um, we could get into that also Saturday. I do want to get to um Buster Rhymes saying that he thinks that Eminem is the best rapper ever. Crazy to me, Buster. Wow, respectfully, my nigga. Respectfully, wow. whoa, whoa, respectfully. whoa, hey, 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 quiet, quiet, quiet as 
Quiet. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 no. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. We can't get into it. We can't get into it. Say what you're saying real quick. It's two seconds. Two seconds. Two seconds and I'm out. Two seconds and I'm out. Listen, listen, listen. 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 Cause I think Ludacris, bro, like, well, um, could could match uh, a lot of the a lot of the crazy shit that Eminem was putting out back then. I think you know Eminem's a better back rapper than all these people that you're talking about, though, man. I, he might be. I think he may be a better rapper scientifically, but I mean, in terms of overall content, I'm not putting Eminem. I'm not putting Eminem over too many people. If you want to talk about oh, shit, that amazing, y'all gotta stop. Eminem, Eminem raps. Look, Eminem look, raps. Look, for the fun of it, for real, for real. I think you think I'm thinking of the Eminem right now, uh, like the Eminem, the Eminem from 1999 to 2003. No, I don't want to hear none of that bullshit. All I'm saying is, what you, the thing that y'all think that Eminem does well, I can name 10 to 15 rappers that do it way better than Eminem. So I can name way that, better. 250, yes. Busta Rhyme does what Eminem does better than Eminem. I don't care what Busta Rhyme thinks. I don't know what hey, that's no snooze button. Rhyme we will see y'all. We right. will see y'all Monday. Saturday, like Monday. <laughs> hey, we'll be <laughs> back here Saturday because that's crazy. We will yes. get into that. Yes, we can get into that for sure. What, yes, I stand on it. Eminem is hey, not man. that guy. We he love y'all. Make sure y'all stay everything. safe this weekend. Boo. Don't Boo. don't drink and drive. Um, shout and out shout to out Kelly. The shout out. Girls actually, too. you know what? We're not even gonna shout Kelly out. We we gonna let Kelly talk to y'all real quick hold on man hey it's kelly here former crack addict recovery coach and light beyond sobriety that is my private online community for people in addiction recovery who want to set big goals now that they're sober and make those goals happen we learn strategies in weekly live coaching sessions to make those things come true go to lifebeyondsobriety.com and check it out two weeks for free love man we'll catch y'all later